So I was just going to jump into this raw, but I felt like this um, this debate may need a, a little introduction for people to truly uh, appreciate the the beauty, uh, this masterpiece that I have on display for you all today. All right, so what do we know about Pac-Man? He'll lie about things, and Tim says he's credible. <laughs> to get to point. Tim is insane. I don't know. Tim sounds really reasonable when he speaks. Maybe I'm missing it. A couple months ago, I made a video dubbed. Uh, radically moderate is so centrist he debates himself and loses now hilarious title I know but that video was about a guy named radically moderate and um, recently he found my video and I showed up in his stream and watch him sort of uh, uh, go over the video and see what he thought about uh, of what he had to say you can change your mind and I don't think that makes you dumb depending on where you're going if you change your mind from like I don't know like civil rights to being a Nazi you're probably dumb I don't I disagree with you there you could in theory be like a, a non-racist and be open-minded and learn about racism and you're gonna say oh, only that only only dumb people do that i disagree to be frank i don't necessarily agree with everything that he does um uh, if you change your mind from pizza without pineapple to liking pizza with pineapple that means we just have to bring back the guillotine that's all i'm saying but i felt like it would be fun to hop into stream with him people aren't rational okay 90 percent of the time people are being irrational i'm right I'm right. Oh, I'm so right. Oh, he got triggered. Starts oh. a video. But I felt like it would be fun to hop into stream with him and, um, uh, you know, hash out our differences, uh, mano a mano, uh, live in the uh, free marketplace of ideas. And then by 2012, I voted third party because I was disillusioned at Obama for not legalizing weed yet. I'm like, how does the first black president not legalize weed, bros? Oh, Racist. so dumb. Casually racist Casually and also racist. dumb. It was really fun for me to be a part of, and I hope Mr. Radically Moderate had fun as well. Pacman's like, they probably vote for appearance and their emotions and uh, who. Well, Pacman's saying like it's a bad thing. But without further ado, I present to you the uh, this little uh, this little debate that I had. And if you do. Please remember to leave a like on the video and maybe drop a subscribe. I post a lot of videos. I hope you can uh, enjoy those as well. Yeah, I made, this, I made this a while ago. I grew a lot since then. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Got my ass kicked by Antifa since, uh, since then. <laughs> yeah, I think I went over that video. I mean, not go over it, but um, I... Uh, you got this phone like, stolen. Well, I saw that um, there was like a new there's new activity on one of my like really old videos, and I was wondering what was going on because usually those don't get any views or anything. And hey, do, um, do, oh, go ahead, say go ahead. Yeah, do do you know when when is Antifa when when it was created? When Antifa was created, wasn't it yeah. in the early 1900s or late 1800s? Yeah, yeah, and they they were they were communist. They're okay. they're still communist. All right. Oh, bro. Oh, that's a non sequitur. Yeah. But they, anyway, so yeah. no, very interesting. We're talking about this video getting views. <laughs> Wait, what? After you're talking about your video getting views now, it's got eight views all of a sudden. Well, I that probably weird, looked back right? at it. Um. So I know. Uh. No, I've, I've noticed it a couple times. I made videos months old. Now all of a sudden they start getting hundreds of views, and I'm like, oh god, there's a bunch of people laughing at me for being mm. cringe. I've made some pretty cringe videos. <laughs> um. Well, uh, I I can but definitely see that. It's not that. too bad, to be honest. No, there's that I'm one where I'm like, is is so and so a cuck, something or worse? And I'm wearing my clean room suit. Oh no. Wait. Oh, uh, is it? Yes. People thought I you were like the KKK. I video. Have you seen that one? Um, me? Yeah, have you seen yeah, my eye No, too? when I made that video of you, that was the last time I ever looked at your channel. Wait, wait, Bro, the, there's so much low worthy content here. You could be laughing your well, ass. Well, I don't. I dubs. You made the video on that. Well, I, I feel like there's lots of, guy. lots and lots of important things to cover. <laughs> and I'm oh, not okay. saying your videos aren't important. I'm sure your videos are important no, to you. Important. Um, no, they're not important. But I can't go here. over like everybody's <laughs> videos at all points at all points in time. No, I get you. I get you, bro. Should Black Lives Matter? Glow, I, I wouldn't expect you to want to go over my content constantly. Yeah, you gotta go over. Yeah, wait, what, what's your channel mostly anyway? So you just kind of just 
showing uh, the daily daily stuff for your fans? That, um, the viewers? Not exactly. I do um, segments. I recently I did a segment on um, uh, online harassment, uh, bullying, suicide, suicidality. I am a feminist, so I do a bunch of men's rights activism um, on my stream. I, I um. I, men's rights activism is a really important thing to me, so I, I I like to do that a lot. Actually, I'm I'm planning another segment on um uh, men and uh, making friends and things like that sometime soon in the future. It is um, hard to make friends as a man. It is, uh, it is. There's lots of things uh, that that are in your way that uh, that can make that a, a real issue, and there are lots of guys who have little friends and eat lots of guys as well who have absolutely no friends that they can um console in when they actually have real problems. I and that's, don't need friends. Okay, very interesting. People um, don't need. I mean, yes, science kind of, really a, don't science kind of a troll. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, so yeah, and that that actually plays a lot into family. men's uh, suicide alley. Hey, don't talk over him, side. Okay. Anyways, but, side is that how you how you pronounce your name? Yeah. Okay. Let let me, if you mind, radically moderate. Can I speak to him for a moment? Oh yeah, go ahead. You can talk to anybody you want. Sure, bud. So last time we spoke, um, that long, long time ago. Uh, about five minutes ago, uh, you 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 said like, why should doctors be paid the same as janitors or something along those lines? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Why do you think I believe that? I mean, you're so you're a socialist. Like you okay. believe in redistribution. Okay, and that, go ahead. I mean that that means that everyone has the same you know possession. So redistribution means everyone has the same. Yeah. No. It means that everyone has the same amount of wealth. No. If you come to school with like a backpack full of candy and then the teacher asks you to give everyone in class one piece of candy. What is it then? And then you have a full bag of candy still. Do you think that's like everyone having the same? Oh, but that's that's socialism. That's the same. You're, you're still redistributing. Okay. The, the, and that is not having the same? But uh, I don't know, man. Well, why, I know you, I this? know you don't know. That's why I wanted to talk to you, bud. Listen, here's what I believe. Okay, I, I think that we should water, take man. the people who have the. Okay, goodbye. Um, radically moderate. So, um, like like I said in the video that uh, we were, I was going over, um, you were making a, a the prescriptive claim that uh, having calling this the the actions that. We'd sell, uh, you'd say like illogical voters go through is dumb would be a bad thing. Like say, calling them dumb is bad. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I was just mostly annoyed that he's calling out the undecided because it's more like it's universal. Everyone makes these same illogical decisions. I guess he's kind of targeting them for maybe maybe I was being irrational when I decided to make this video about him targeting them for that reason. Um, no, I mean, if it's something that you genuinely, genuinely disagreed with, I don't think that's irrational at all. I think it's very rational, actually. If that's what you believe, then you don't want other people to believe it. So you wanted to put out your own video to make sure that less people would believe that, right? Or at least more people would be convinced by you. So which means that overall, there'd be a lesser divide between people who believe him and people who believe you. Is that right? That sounds irrational, right? Well, I was trying to start a dialogue mostly. Sure. But even then, like your goal with the dialogue probably be for people to believe what you believe, right? Because you think what you believe is right, or at least closer to right than him, since you disagree with him, right? Uh, I don't even know if I'm saying he's wrong. I'm, I guess I'm maybe I'm trying to fill in the gaps. Uh, God, I need to, because I don't. You sounded like you believed what you were saying. You didn't believe what you were saying. Oh, no, I, I do. I do. I do believe what I'm saying. I still believe what I'm saying. I'm just trying okay. to make sure that I'm not uh, saying that. Did I say that he was wrong? I, don't, I, guess I don't know I'll if you used to correct the him. I'm trying to say that he, I'm trying to give well, a if more you're correct, an answer. Sure, but if you're trying to correct someone, that means you think they're wrong, or at least not yeah. close enough to the path, right? Yeah, I guess is you know I want more, yeah, more sophisticated answer. More. I mean, I'm not sure if you. Well, I would argue that you didn't provide a more sophisticated answer. You provided about the same answer, but like a little bit more incoherently. <laughs> Probably. It was mostly because, right? So the the thing, I I feel like you didn't necessarily pick up on my argument. It was a little bit more nuanced than I feel like I could have explained it. So you went into the video and you were like, yeah, you were in, yeah, you went into the video. You were like, hey, he's calling these people dumb. I don't think they're dumb here. This, this, and this reason why 
um, uh, someone wouldn't vote this, this, and this reason why someone would feel um, uh, disenfranchised by the system, this, this, and this reason why people wouldn't vote. And David Packman isn't d- disagreeing with you. And I'm not disagreeing with you that there are some legitimate reasons why people would feel like they shouldn't vote. I mean, there's a lot of uh, apathy in this country. There's lots of people who feel like the politics don't agree with them. People, lots of people who believe that uh, politicians don't follow through on any of their promises. The latter end of that being actually very untrue that I found out recently. Um, That doesn't absolve them from making poor decision. And that doesn't stop them from being called dumb. Now, we could argue on whether or not it, calling them dumb is effective for having them not be dumb, but saying that they're dumb and being like, why are you dumb? You should not be dumb. I don't think that's necessarily super bad. Are you talking about the voter base or the politicians right now? Voter base. I think politicians are genuinely kind of smart. They seem to have played the game good enough to they have basically whatever they want. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember exactly what points I took offense to in David Pakman. Well, you can tell me what points you take offense to now. Uh, I don't really take a. Jesus Christ. I didn't really take offense to anything you said right now. I don't. But then again, I don't really remember exactly what you said. There's a, a lot. God, sure. God, I'm horrible at this shit. It's I'm okay. The worst person to talk to on the internet. I'm sorry. You'll be. You'll be fine. Um, the, the thing I feel like you took offense to was calling them dumb. I was kind of getting at yeah. it towards the end of the video. You just didn't like yeah, the fact that they called it. them dumb. I didn't like really. how you called them dumb, man. Yeah. I just don't, dumb. yeah, I just don't think that you like people calling other people dumb for me personally, that kind of falls into civility politics and I couldn't care less about civility. You know who Richard Spencer is? Uh, yeah. Have you, did, did you ever see, him. did you ever see his rant on, uh, Octoroons? <laughs> Oh my god. A disavow, by the way. Sure. Did you ever see that? Yeah, I think I have. Sure. So if you if before that, if you brought Richard Spencer on, if he was on Ellen, if he was on a, a late night TV show, he'd be he'd be in his gray suit, has his nice tie with a fresh haircut, and he'd be the kindest, most politest young man you'd ever know in your life. His views are absolutely abhorrent and they're terrible for the world. Um I don't care about civility. You can be as civil as you want while advocating for the death of other human beings for nothing more than their Uh, heritage and their uh, skin color Uh, this means uh, civility means nothing to me when uh, your views are that bad um hmm but i mean okay i'm gonna steer this back to david pakman saying undecided voters are dumb it's like being undecided, like the whole, I listen to a lot of scatums and he's convinced me that people are mostly irrational most of the time. As, as you heard, I've said that a couple of times. Uh, I, it really does seem like it makes sense these days, the more, the more I apply it. And it's, I just apply that principle to undecided voters. They're just being just as irrational as the, why I irrationally voted for Trump or why someone else might irrationally vote the other way. I just assume most people are just acting irrational. So these people aren't necessarily dumb or low IQ or low information. They're probably just acting in the irrational manner most people are. And that's, I, I don't, Davey Pakman will probably never hear that rational. I won't convince him, but that's what's really going on, I think. What did you what do you think you just tried to convince him of there? Because I feel like I feel like what you're doing here. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but you're swapping. You keep swapping like I was talking about in chat. You keep swapping around prescriptive and descriptive statements just like really weirdly. And I feel like you keep substituting a descriptive statement for a prescriptive one. You didn't make an argument there. You said lots of people are irrational. Maybe even all people are rational. And then just left it there. You didn't make any argument. They're not dumb. That's the argument. They're not well, dumb. They're actually irrational. That's the why they're acting that way. Okay. Oh, we got it. Okay. So, um, I think that's dumb. Being irrational is bad and dumb. Oh, you can't control it. I'm not saying they're they're doing it on purpose. Um. Okay. So I'll, I'll call it built-in genetic stupidity. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's it's still internal biases. Everyone has biases for or against everything. And people can't really control their biases. Just like you are, you can't control what you believe. People can't control if they believe or God or not. I can, you can, you can. Um, now it's baked into you very hardcore. If you, if you're taught something, if you're taught not to put your elbows on the table because your grandma smacked you with the wooden spoon, most for most of your life, you're probably not going to put your elbows on the table. 
Now, but, if you put your I mean, heart to it, you can learn how to and break that. But it's not it's, you. I'm not saying now I'll grant that if habit, a person though, comes believe. Sure. Um, it's, you know, Pavlovian dog, Pavlovian Pavlov's dogs type thing. Um, but with that being said, I mean, you could still call that dumb. Could could you uh, change your belief about state capitalism to be more of a, you know, uh, what's what's I don't know, for a laissez faire capitalist? Could you change your belief if you wanted to? Um, if I if I really really wanted to, I mean, probably. I be I think you can probably if you if you give enough time and pressure, just like a piece of coal with a diamond. Uh, to a diamond, I think you can change almost anyone's view if you put them in the right conditions. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, uh, uh, <laughs> that's that's interesting. I like how you introduced like a second person, like diamond and pressure. I think external fast factors. Yes, you definitely could convince them one. But can a person of on their own cord just will out of the will just want to convince themselves to change their own beliefs about something that's core to them? I don't know if they could. Yes. Absolutely. You see lots of people go from being atheistic to, well, maybe not lots of people these days, but lots of people's going, got lots of people going from atheistic to Christian and uh, um, uh, some uh, religious denomination to atheistic or another one. And those are a lot of very, very core beliefs that get baked into you before you're in the womb. Uh, well, not my bad, before you're out of the womb. Um, and those are things that can change. You can change almost anyone. I don't believe in this old, like, Old, can't teach old, an old dog new tricks type thing. You can 100% change your beliefs if you uh, uh, are get put in the right situation. You just need the right person at the right time with the right willness, with the right mm -hmm. amount of will to change it. But you can. I don't think it's mm. built in like Environmental DNA. Environmental factors help. Environmental factors are for a lot of people almost all they have. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I like how you're challenging me on this. I got I got to think deeper about these opinions I have now. I mean, I just don't think I mean, I think you have a, a lot of very nasty opinions. Uh, not not. I mean, uh, for one, I would like to separate the opinions from the person. Um, I would like to attack your opinions. I mean, like I said, personally, I don't care about civility politics or whatever I say on my stream may be different from what I say to you personally. But my goals are different when I'm on my stream and when I'm here. Hmm. Okay. Because my, my, well, you know, just to say, like, my, my goals on stream are to convince other people. My goals here is to convince you and mostly other people. And uh, when you're talking to a person one-on-one, -on -one, unless you're trying to just make them look so stupid that no one would ever, like, want to associate with them, then that's the only reason I, why I would, what I would ever want to go hard. I've never been in a discussion like that before. Well, in public yet. Uh, it's one of my... Some, a comment on my video a long time ago said like it seems that you're doing this videos for like a what was the word like a self pleasure reasons and it's like yes I do these videos because I have fun I like having fun making I feel like these my videos are more entertaining than anything because I'm just having fun reading off the news and making jokes I mean That's if you're having fun doing that yeah if you have fun doing that sure I don't don't employ... take my content as serious well I have I'm, to take it as serious because I'm you're making arguments I'm a shitty Alex Jones. Sure, but I have to still pay attention to it because I personally believe you're making the world a worse place. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I think... Uh, how so, sir? I would like to not make the world a worse place. Well, with, like, the idea there, when, when in this video, okay, my goal would be to help everyone understand that there are a lot of reasons why lots of people can be checked out of our politics. But when in, arguably, the most important country on the planet that has ever existed, I don't think that's a rational, and being irrational is bad here, in my moral view, and right or moral view to hold. Just because you have valid reasons not to do something does not mean you shouldn't. And I and like for lots of reasons, I don't believe that lots of people would really take pers uh, choices that personally damage them, having to take time out of their day when they have to, when they could like take care of their kids or um, uh, just go to bed or watch, watch TV to not think about work or something um, would uh, to like read a New York times article. Um, uh, like, I, I don't think that makes that a good choice. It's still a bad choice. It makes the world a worse place. And you kind of like facilitated that by 
putting like a little like warm blankie over them like no you're not dumb you're just irrational and everyone's irrational so it's okay who cares they're all everyone's the same nothing's gonna change just go back to sleep as like people Mm. die in the streets well if i came across as saying go back to sleep that's not at all what i want to say i want people more vigilant than ever well how does checking out of politics make you more vigilant oh oh the undecided voters sure because uh, I'm trying to say I'm, I don't I've never told anyone to check out of politics. Sure, but you're like pandering to it here. Or uh, no, appealing I'm just trying to, to it explain. Here. I'm trying to explain what's going on. It's like I'm not condoning or in, I'm not endorsing or not endorsing their behaviors. I'm just saying this is what's happening. They're just being irrational like everybody else. I mean, if you want to know why that's what's happening. People are being irrational like they always are. Um. Well, that's kind of like lazy, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not. I'm just saying what's going. I'm observing a phenomenon, kinda. Sure, but while attacking, uh, the the view, but while while attacking an opposing view, yeah, well, of yeah. Pacman, which would be to get more people to vote, and get checked into politics, which it's, would be a good thing. And you attacked I mean, that view and said, "Who cares, anyways? Lots of people do it, anyways." And so basically gives them an out. Well, everyone does it, anyways. Well, it doesn't matter, anyways. Well, I'm everyone's illogical, anyways. So who cares? And then they go back to sleep. I don't think I said it doesn't matter if people don't vote. Well, it doesn't matter about you being like irrational. Because everyone's irrational. Well, people can't people can't control when they act certain ways. People can't control like you can't control your eye movement. Something catches your eye. Oh, like uh, like comparing like basic like survival impulses to like ideas that you hold i think you can 100 percent change your ideas and i guess in in a way you can train your impulses and um your reactions if you train if you train not to get distracted not to get scared like that for long enough you probably won't you know you hear like a gunshot next to you most people would like freak out if a soldier hears a gunshot next to him maybe he won't even freak out uh I think we like talked past each other right there because sure, I'm explain not... where I talked past you. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to. It's it seems like you're saying that I'm condoning the 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 well, what, what because I'm it? because I'm taking a stance against Pac-Man who's saying it's a bad thing. Not necess- I'm not even. I mean, I should on Pac-Man because I don't. I have an irrational dislike of him, so I'll do that. But I'm not saying that he's. <laughs> Well, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to explain why people are undecided and why people do their actions, and I'm saying they're irrational. And I, I didn't say it's a good thing people are irrational. Keep being irrational. I'm saying they're irrational. That's that's the way the world is. You, you can't be rational in everything. Um, I don't think you can. That doesn't mean that's a good thing, or you shouldn't even you, try. You literally Again, can't rationalize everything. It's a little bit of asserting opinions, like you're kind of saying, putting words in my mouth. I don't say, like, I didn't say it was a good thing. Sure. I listen, here, I, I think I have a good analogy that I could kind of compare it. Okay. So okay. let's say you got a herd of cattle, right? In a yard. All right. It's fence yard. Here's a fence. There's an open fence. All right. Cattle could get out. We will say the cattle could get out, and that's bad. When we'll say that people not voting, checking out of the political system, that's the analogy. Those are the cows, and them not voting would then be leaving the leaving the yard okay they get lost they get eaten by wolves very sad why why should people care i am finishing my analogy hold on let him finish side so we can both agree in here in this analogy that the cows getting out of the fence would be bad now pacman what he did was let's say build a fence i mean i mean uh build a uh uh build a fence the fences and then he closes the fence so they so they can't get out and then you say hey listen that's not stop and then you take the fence away you did not push the cattle out of the yard. You didn't tell them to. You didn't say it was a good idea. You didn't wave around a piece of wheat and say, hey, follow me out of the yard. You didn't do that. Absolutely not. And you didn't build like a rocket launcher sled where anytime the cows walk in, you they shoot out of the uh, yard and fly over to Nebraska. OK, but what you did do was facilitate them and they're leaving. You helped it make it easier for them to leave. And that's what I'm saying makes the world a worse place. That we shouldn't keep, we shouldn't do that. Just because something is bad and just because lots of people do it does not mean that we could turn a blind eye to it. 
this is bad and it should be called out wherever it is. And like I said in the video, I don't think that calling out like um necessarily like voter shaming super hard pe uh, uh, people really helps. It kind of just makes them sink into themselves uh, instead of uh, engaging with their ideas and how they feel. And that's what I and that's what I tried to do in my video. That's why I said, hey, listen, you know, there's oh. lots of legitimate reasons. This doesn't make it good. Go ahead. Why do you believe in socialism? Um, I would like okay. radically moderate to answer my question first, please, <laughs> if it would be nice. It seems like, I mean, <laughs> God, I kind of I wish I'd remember what I, what I wanted to say. And why do you I'm believe in democracy? Even? No, no, hold on, hold on. Um, it seems like you're trying to say that I'm attacking pacman saying that people should be undecided you're attacking right? pacman saying that people should not be undecided and they should choose okay. for a choice and then the choice would be the, that's the, not at all what with. i'm that's not at all what i'm doing explain them i am saying this is why they're undecided it's human nature <laughs> um it's okay simple but that's not a <laughs> That's not an argument against his point. So what? It, wait. His so what? What, 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 what? What would you want him to do? What, what would you wait? My. What would you want him to say? I see what you're saying. Okay. What would what would we do to fix it? Oh, I don't have a solution. You, I can't change human nature. What was the point of the video? That Pacman should know about human nature. <laughs> I don't, well, my, my videos are wait pointless. wait wait hang, hang on a second 19 views i put on well, shit content <laughs> okay but i still think it's bad someone could have been convinced by that and i think that's bad and then there's two people with bad ideas what, the bad idea that people are irrational i think that's a good idea no like i said that. in my analogy you just open the gate Pacman built a gate you open the gate and then you let oh. people walk out that's bad i think that's bad Listen, it's human nature. Absolutely. It's human nature to rape. Okay, this is very well documented. People just want to just walk up and fucking like nutting people. That doesn't mean it's good. We have laws against it, and we think it's immoral. What? What, what about homosexuality? It's. It's. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. Um, undecided voters is like. What would we want people to decide themselves? I don't know if that's a good thing. Because what if they decide in ways that you don't politically like? What if all the undecided voters went against you? I'm not saying they would. Maybe they all go in your favor. Or another, it's kind of like compelling someone to speak. I don't want to put my foot in the game because I don't want to be held accountable. You, you know, I don't want to be. Why should you're, people vote? You're in the country. You're going to be held accountable because you had the choice to vote. It, it anyway. makes no difference, bro. Anyway, I'm saying, you know, there's a million reasons why a person does an action. I can't possibly explain all of them, but that's the reason I don't try to. And I just, you know, I go off the humans. They do things because they do things. Uh, now you want to, you want to say, hey, no, maybe we should try to fix human action and try to maybe get some policies to encourage different behaviors. Now it's a different argument. That's that's not exactly what I'm talking about, but we can have that discussion. Trump couldn't even put Hillary in prison. Why would, like, how would he put her in prison? Please explain. He said he's going to lock her up. Okay, and uh, why? Why do you think so? Well, okay, because the, all the prisons are the same. They, they work together. And she's, her, she's his friend. Yeah. She's the prison's friend? Yeah, yeah. She's the friend of, of Trump. She's the friend of Trump. Okay. Yeah, they're in the same family. They're, in the, they're, all, they're both Clintons or both Trumps? They're both Illuminati. I don't know. They're both Illuminati. Okay. Well, very. You what? Well, you've been very, you've been very helpful for this conversation, sir. Hey, Shark. I just want to say I appreciate you joining my Discord and calling me out where you think I'm wrong because I do want to become better. Yeah. Well, wait, man. He thinks I'm wrong. I want to make sure I get better at argument and be and have my misunderstandings corrected because I want to become better too. He hasn't justified anything. He just says, oh yeah, if people don't vote, then they're wrong for that. And he hasn't even proved it. What do you and mean? Says, well, oh, so, okay, listen, I can, but I was just trying to figure out what radically moderate believed How in his prescription. Well, here, I can tell you why I think it's bad. I said it multiple times it in the video. You. I'm not sure if you listened, yeah. but I said- talk over him. Oh, me? I can- Oh, each other. I'm at okay. Saeed mainly though. Sure. Would you like to go, sir? I forget his what's his name? Saeed. And Saeed. I'm at, I'm at you want to go? You guys You want to go, Saeed? Yeah. Talk. Tell tell me what's wrong. What have I not done? 
you you didn't prove anything. You just said, "Oh, we need to have a, a redistribution," and you, you can't even you can't say why why it's good. Are you still talking and about socialism? Yeah, you were saying we need to redistribute the wealth. Okay. A socialism. Yes. Okay. So you tax you tax the more wealthy more yes. than the, the less wealthy. Okay. We yes. haven't proved why that's good. You just you just said it. Because wealthy people have more money and poor people have less money and we want to take the amount of money that hurts the person less and we can want to take the most amount of money possible. So it makes yeah, sense to take money from out. the Hold people. Before more we money. continue, Saeed, is there anything Shark could say to change your opinion on this? No, man, I'm, I'm Muslim. So I'm what's the point of having him do people. this, man? Well, for me, I mean, it's good to hone my could, skills. I, I know for a fact that communism is wrong, so I'm not going <laughs> to... So, okay. I'm not communist. It's like arguing with a wall. I'm not communist. Socialist. It's it's the same to me. Co Do you know what these words mean? Can yeah, you give me a definition of so of socialism? Uh, what two socialism two sentences max? Socialism is when you have uh, like public. What is it like public institutions that, you know, people pay for like the the rich pay more for and the poor pay less for, and everyone profits from it. No. What was it? Socialism, socialism is, is a pol Oh, can I take a stab at it? Go ahead, bud. Is it when we vote for the means of production to oh, be that? like centrally owned, and when communism is when like the means of production are just like authoritarian? Oh, you, can it simple, you can complicate a simple concept and and then say, oh, oh yeah. deal, call in. Um, well, socialism is a social and political system, which prioritizes the workers mean uh worker own means uh the workers own the means of production yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's communism it's it's the same. that's not Hold communism on, what's the difference between communism now communism is a social and political system that prioritizes uh public ownership of the means of production yeah that, that, that's pretty much the same thing it's not the same was, thing it sounded similar to i'm not, not it is I'm similar not to be smart ass. no you're right it is similar it, there's only a couple words that were changed I'll have to see it written down so I can see what actually changed there. Well, the, thing, well, the all difference the is... The all these ideologies have this, the same root. Very interesting. Um, the difference is that uh, uh, socialism means that the workers who work there own the company, right? And then communism oh. is like, imagine a society. Yeah, yeah. Imagine like um, a, like an Amish... Uh, no, like a, imagine like an Amish society where they're just like businesses and then just people just do things. Everybody basically oh. knows kind of everything, you know? The people who work, hmm. the, the people who cut wood are the Everyone same people. Everyone get together who, for a barn raising. Sure, you know, something like that. Only yeah, it'd be a little bit more complicated. like a his, hipster. Very in socialism, exactly. there's still markets, and in communism, there's not really a market. Well, it depends on who you are. I'm a market socialist. That means there'd still be a market, but there are some socialists who don't want a market. So there are some socialists who don't think that markets are beneficial to people. Um I am not of that opinion. I think that the state we should centralize a good amount of things uh, around the uh, amount around the government because they're way better at doing things. Uh, the government's way better at doing some things than other things. Um, hey. uh, one thing that one thing I, that I can say that we can split between the market and the government um, just and, and then I'll let you go is that uh, the the market is good for allocating what people allocating resources to where people want it. Uh, the government's good at alloc uh, allocating resources where people need it. And that's basically it. Go ahead. That's interesting. Uh, Jesus Christ. It's interesting, but it. yeah. Well, Do you okay, have an I argument against idea. it or are you I'm just going to say That's a great idea. So uh, you know how the um, our postal system was kind of like when it, it, it our, our government was founded, we had like a postal system from the get-go. It's kind of like a really socialist thing to have, don't you think? Um, yes, because we live in a mixed economy, like almost every other country. Okay, so now fast forward to the fun of 21st century. Don't you think that we should have a government-supplied email address from the Postal Service? Now we don't have to have Google selling all of our information. I mean, that could be. I mean, honestly, uh, unironically, that may be a good idea. If uh, the government, if uh, private ownership of lots of extremely important facets of people's lives is really an issue, I mean, my bad, corporate ownership of many facets of people's lives that are almost integral to a, a functioning society, I would say one thing would maybe be internet, uh, like ISP. Uh, maybe there should be just one government ISP, and uh, the government could just like provide just blanket ISP to everywhere. You don't have to worry about prices. You won't have to worry about 
like a third of the country not still not having broadband that sounds great just like the uh, just like usps i own my bad usps i because i only ship through us uh usps so they're the only good mail provider that i trust and they were originally made to make sure that even the most rural places in this country are still connected to the rest of the world because they deserve it no matter where they live uh, hopefully elon musk starlink internet will give the whole world global high-speed internet I wouldn't be betting on it. He's too busy rolling around in this truck. I like, what's... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't wait for it. Base of it, like, why Why do you even want to do this? Like, why do people deserve this stuff? I don't know. You, and you... why do the poor deserve the rich as well? Oh, hold on, hold on, Sight. Let me let me try to red pill you in some things. I'm like, um, rich, like, I'm just telling you. Let me tell you about why universal health care is an okay reason. Don't you think that paying astronomical prices for surgery or for childbirth is a form of tyranny and the government should protect you against that yeah but what's the reason for that though it isn't isn't it because the people who are char- charging extra are they have a monopoly on on that basically through the government what because that, that's the truth right because they, they have a monopoly you can't what, you have hospitals to, you have to go to certain schools Wait, re- wait are, repeat that i'm saying not not anyone can can uh, be a medic okay and you have to go through a whole system okay oh, he's saying that there's a whole bunch of reasons why it's expensive to go to hospitals like one of the reasons is hospitals never made their prices available trump fucking trump signed an executive order saying hospitals have to release their prices online hospitals fucking sued to make that not available so and sure but it's not like you're going to be nice. like it's not like you're going to be like hotel trivago look like checking up a uh, a different like heart transplant prices uh while you're in the back of the ambulance on your like uh, I, I agree on, in, in the, the back ambulance, no but maybe for childbirth you might plan which hospital you want to give birth in which one you might stay for two weeks at which one you might stay for one week at which is cheaper or you could figure out which hospital you want to stay at and it's already prepaid by your taxes so you won't have to worry about paying it out of pocket and going I'm, bankrupt hey man i actually kind of like that idea childbirth oh, that, that's is way fun. too expensive it's like you, you pay in taxes, but you, you, you don't necessarily get anything from it. What are you talking about? So this would be you getting something from it. Is so not could, going bankrupt from medical yeah. expenses not something to you? Or No, but I'm, I'm saying you, you could pay like five, you know. Who like pays for unemployment, unemployment insurance? Who pays for unemployment insurance? I'm not sure yeah. exactly. Isn't it like part the employer, part the government? Maybe. Hey, hey do you uh, believe in insurance? Do I in believe general, in like concept of yeah. insurance in general? Yeah, sure. How do you justify it? How do I justify it? Because it makes the world yeah, a better place. It seems. Random. You, you could you could put in like a, a super large amount of money into your, your insurance and get nothing from it. What and do you someone, mean by nothing from else, it? They put nothing into it and get get a lot back. Yeah, that's it's how a yeah, that's how insurance works. It's a gamble. So yeah, that's how, how it, it works. Justice? How is it just because you don't? Because if it's you're unjust. the person, it's it's, it's not you're unjust. You're allowed to do it. Wait, so what? Wait, 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 stop. Wait, 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 stop. So please tell me what would be. No, 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 wait. Give, tell me a just system then. Fix it. Please fix it. I'd like to hear your explanation. Yo, what? Build a port. Welcome to the channel. So you, by saying fix it, you're saying it has an issue. No, make it. Uh, you, you're you the one who said it had an issue. So I want you to make it better. Tell me how you would do it. Since you have an issue with it, tell me how you would make it better. Unless you haven't right, put any I'm thought into this. I just know that it's messed oh, up. Okay, so you don't have any arguments <laughs> whatsoever. Very interesting. Thank you for contributing to this conversation. Anyways, insurance is good because you're able to make sure that if, something's, if something happens to you, then you're able to be yeah. helped from it. Except if nothing happens to you, then you just you just pay all your. Then yeah, good it's, job. It's, to, like, it's a bet, man. You're allowed to do it. Sometimes better to it be, don't pay off. Sometimes the yeah, house loses. Better just to randomness. be safe than be sorry. Trust in randomness. Okay, I mean, I you don't have any arguments, so I really don't care what you have to say. I, I don't know you. what he's saying either. Side, what the hell point are you trying to make right now? He's not. It's, he's just mean. All right, can we try to bring it back to some some more uh, high brain stuff? Because I was enjoying I was enjoying talking to you about this stuff, bro. Sure, but what do you, what else do you want to talk to me about? Um, uh, what, what do you think about the the the, uh, the Federal Reserve and going back to a gold standard? There's no, it, it doesn't seem to be any real point to go back to the gold standard now. I've never seen any economists really harp on yeah, about yeah. it. It seems like we're just kind of Bro, moving you're forward. You're so predictable, man. You're so. Uh, predictable. Why would you say that? That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
That's an ad hominem attack site. We're yeah, talking people's ideas, not the person. Funny, Shame funny, on funny. you. I'm fine with him attacking me. It's not like there's anything there. It's just he's a paper tiger. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. What is the purpose of uh, a currency? I don't what, know, buy things, sell things. What does it mean to have currency? Uh, to have a thing that people all agree is worth something. Oh, you think? Store of wealth. What, what if they stop agreeing that it has any worth? Well, then we won't have currency. Okay. They Thank you. Have a way of... so that's, Extremely that's interesting. Anyway, right. if I recall correctly, I think so Mexico's currency itself. is tied to silver. Is that true? Yeah. Um, it I, may I, be I still be tied cool. to silver. Just what? live in the immaterial world. Sure, but I mean, if it works. Do you live in the material world? Do you touch things that I am not allowed to touch? Do you see things I, that I cannot see? Are you tasting things right now I cannot taste because you live in the material about world? An acid trip. Well, answer the question, bud. I want to know what things that you've been tasting that I cannot taste because I don't live in the material world. Oh, no, just, hey... I guess Saeed's trying to, anyway, socialism. He's trying to say it's, you know, killed a whole bunch of people or something. I don't know. Probably. Anyways, Capitalism's killed more. I'm not arguing that. Probably. Um, but yeah, um, the federal, I, I haven't heard any economists talk about it. Um, I could always look back up into it sometime. Last thing I researched yeah. was uh, a Soviet Russia. So I, I guess it'd be fun researching something a little bit more relevant to today. I'm a little tinfoil hatty because uh, it seems like the countries that are that are still on the gold dollar, gold back dollar, are the countries we're we're going at war with, like North Korea and some of the Middle Eastern ones. It I don't think like, we're really know. at war with North Korea. Like it, North Korea doesn't want anything but to live, so I don't really care about them. They have a gold. They have a gold backed currency though, and I'm like, hey, it's, it's surprised they're fighting them since North Korea is also. Like they they burn Bibles, they burn uh, any any holy book that goes against you know, socialism. Anything that goes against the socialism. Are they part. even? I aren't they anti-socialism? North Korea. Yeah. North Korea are socialists. I think I thought they were about anti-socialist like, socialist country in the world, dude. How are they socialists? Can you tell me? The, they call themselves socialists. Do you know what the D, Do you know what DPRK stands for? Dude, uh, what is it? That's North Korea's real name. It stands for Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Do you think oh, that they are democratic? Oh, yeah. What's the red star about? Do you think that they're democratic? Do they vote? I think they're democratic. Do they, they vote? vote? No. Oh, then no, they're not democratic. Wow, but that? they have the word democratic in the name. What are you talking about, dude? They're totally, they're totally democratic. Are you telling me names lie? I don't think that's Wait. true. Are you saying anti-fascists aren't actually anti-fascists? I mean, they, I mean, they could be. State. What did you say? Yeah, they hold elections. They hold they, elections. They, they rig them, right? They're sham elections. Yeah, so the, I, I'd consider that no elections. Yeah, so aren't they... So, <laughs> Wikipedia is saying they're socialists. Okay. Yeah. And they're democratic, too. Because it's in the name. Anyways, we can bring up Ayn Rand and her opinions on socialism. Ayn Rand, I've never done any research into Ayn Rand. Um, people have been bringing her up. Apparently, she's oh, like yeah. crazy, uh, like crazy anti-socialism like lady. I, I haven't heard her opinions, but she's just like socialism is just the roadway to communism. Sure, I mean. For some people, it is some anarcho-communists. I think they'd like to move, like to like to move to a socialist system anarchy. before one. But I don't know. I I, I get the idea that anarchy. lots of. Go just, ahead. Just bring back pure anarchy. Um, I mean, deep. there can be some good idea. Uh, good. Um, uh, oh, hey, um, here let's yes. bring it highbrow again. Shark, have you seen this picture of Leviathan versus government and the power of society? This picture. You've heard about um, that. Wait a second. I don't have your screen open. Wait one second. Let me try to see if I can find a picture of that. This picture. God, where do I find that? Of the state. In this picture, I'm kind of obsessed with right so now. If, if humans valued uh, excrement as currency, then it would be a currency, right? 
Yeah. I'm going to draw MS Paint. Yeah, what are you talking about? We we value green pieces of cotton and plastic dyed green with dead What's people's faces on it as currency. currency. Well, then congratulations. That'd you have piss currency. Time. That'd be what like, the hell are you fun. fucking talking about, Saeed, man? You always say you're just random as shit. Do you think that, like, the American dollar has been I'm blessed down to America from make God? Any sense. Do you think that uh, uh, that the American dollar was just like given to us by angels? In it do you think like an angel came down, down, down from like the people. gates of heaven and was like, "Sir, do fear not. I've brought you currency," and it was like the American dollar? Is that you? Is that where you think all dollars come from? Please answer the question. Anyway, keep asking stupid questions. I mean, yeah, you keep asking stupid questions too. So I mean, nonsensical question. Sure. I mean, where do you think money comes from? From my ass. Okay. No, well, I know where money, money comes. I've listened to Peter Schiff so many times. I can tell you about money. If if people valued, um, you know, anything, it would be currency, according to you. Yeah, that's true. I shouldn't shock so, you. Yeah, I have this true. picture here. I'm sharing it in Discord. I'm sharing my live stream. It's um, I I don't have the picture on hand, so I drew it crudely. Turn it in Discord. MS Paint. Oh, is this what I'm looking at on stream? Yeah. So what, what's this about? What it is. So it's a chart that shows the power of the government versus the power of society, and there's a narrow band where you can have liberal democracies exist, like United States and Switzerland. And there's some states like China that are above the happy band where it's more authoritarian than society. And there's some cases where the power, the government's not strong enough to hold the society together. And you get like the balkanizations of what happened down there. Countries fall apart. The society's too strong. And so we want to exist somewhere in the middle here. And I fear that, that you know, we're becoming too authoritarian or, or we might, it's, it's kind of like a balancing act. We're trying to walk this tightrope as as our society progresses forward and eventually we, we may fall on either side either fall apart as a country or become a complete authoritarian state um i think we we have very important decisions to make in the in the next coming years i think the i think this election will be like a really big hallmark election that's going to be talked about for a while in like history books i, I think i find it extremely interesting to feel like i'm in a, a very interesting part of history that may be talked about for a while um when, when it comes to this i really feel like it's important to make sure that republicans just aren't in power at any point in time in the government i honestly see with the way trump has trump and the republicans have been running coronavirus that we I, could I be looking for another that. like 40 year democratic rule like we had in the uh, uh mid 1900s because like the have you seen their approval ratings recently like i'm not sure if you notice i'm going to do a story on this tomorrow but um ivanka trump was tasked with getting america back on the american government back on track and she came out with a pamphlet that just said find a new way instead of putting forward more stimulus instead of thinking about uh, bailouts for small companies it was just a pamphlet that said Americans should find a new way. I mean, you, come on now. Hold on. Now, really hold on, side. Let me say it. Do you think that the government should always do something? Like, a lot of people are saying, like, the government maybe shouldn't yeah, yeah. act. Um, we, the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Um, th this is what I think that the government should be doing. And anything that falls within that purview should be up to the government to uphold. Cool. Oh, okay. I, I think you, like, you read the part of the Constitution, I think. That is the preamble. The preamble? Okay. Anyway. But yeah, I mean... Sure. No, but yeah, like we should provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare. Just like those two things are really important and they're baked into our society. That's what we why, should be doing. Why? 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 Ho ho hold on. General welfare is and what such do you a nebulous consider term. Welfare. You're a feminist. The general, general welfare, welfare. It is a really nebulous term, and the founding fathers left a lot of nebulous terms in there, and that's why they left the Supreme Court. I think it's been ruled down a lot. That's why uh, the ACA is able to pass, it's, even with the individual mandate, it was able to be held up because of that clause, the in, uh, provide, uh, promote the general welfare. That can mean welfare programs. That could mean 
contraceptive programs that can be anything um, provide for the general welfare. It's a very broad term, but it means a lot to in a lot of different generations. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court has ruled that quarantine powers of the government are pretty far and extensive yeah. and they can do shit. I um, hope they I hope they start whipping people. The like Louisiana that. Supreme Court case. I, I covered it. If they if they don't distance. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't think that we should be instituting any physical punishment. Uh, no, it's good. Just okay. bring back lynching, bring back whipping. What the fuck? Slavery. You're really interesting. Um He's but a no. shit talk. He's just seen shit. <laughs> I can see. I think he's um, just trying to get a rise out of people. True. Um, yeah, he, he, uh, don't worry. I've had to deal with him. Uh, people like him a lot. It's really easy, actually. Nice. The funniest part uh, about it is that they think okay. that they're funny. That's all, uh, Out of all, all the time that I've been dealing with it, the funniest part is that they think that they're funny. Honestly. Oh, it's, like watching it's, a, it's like watching a clown car crash. Yeah, you're funny, man. You're really uh, funny. Sometimes it's funny. Sure, I you're, bet. You're a Marxist. <laughs> you don't even know that. that's really interesting thank you Fe feminism is based on marxism that's it's super interesting time. oh no but come you on don't man do don't so do this to me how is that interesting that's really interesting you wow. don't even realize you're a marxist atheist idiot i'm not online. an atheist but okay oh my god you are dude it does a christian do you think any christian would support marxism uh, what do you think marxism like, is Shit. Can you give Bro, me a definition of Marxism? You can't say what Christians would believe or not. Well, for me, uh, with, when it comes to the New Testament, I feel like it's uh, a lot of um, uh, a lot of ideals kind of land in socialism, providing, feeding, feeding the poor, um, no um, matter what, uh, things like that, uh, promoting the general welfare among people. Um, is the Bible feminist? Is, is the, the Bible, Bible feminist? feminist? Probably not in the way that we would understand it today. Yeah, yeah. that's why I thought. Okay, uh, well, I, I can't be things that... I got him. People believe in, in theft. Basically. I mean, the Bible isn't actually... The Bible honestly isn't pro-gamer either, and I just played a game today, so I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that uh, you're right, and I may, have, I may have gone too far on my religion. Say again? There's verses that talks about kids playing games. Really interesting. Thank you for providing that information to me. I was going to say, most importantly, we're pro-humor and pro-funny on this channel, so I appreciate you cracking that joke there. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I try. I try. I thought about that on the spot. Well, okay. like I said, I mean, um, uh, but but no, I mean, from w back to your channel. Uh, what's your name? You can call me Chris. Uh, you can. I guess my docs is already out there. You can call me Al. Al. Okay. So, hello, Al. Um, w when it comes to your channel, uh, I didn't come here to like make you necessarily make you look stupid or like bad or like I hate you or something or like I want you to lose your home or something. It, it, I, I just want you to do good. Them. I just want you to do you're good you're work. I, I just want you to make good. the world a better, a, a better place. That's what I, that's what most of my um uh, talks are about when I talk about especially smaller uh, YouTubers you like you. When it comes to like really big YouTubers like Sargon, like um, I did a show, I did uh, something on Tucker Carlson the other day. Those people, I just want to look dumb because they have too much power already. Um, so the, this sort of shame for the uh, underlings who kind of feel like they have some sort of connection to them, but that's more important for you. I just want you to be better. I want you to like research before you go on a stream. I want you to have more in-depth um, uh, conversations on your channel. I want you to actually like di divulge into topics. Too, I feel like that'd be really interesting. Like you went over that video of the... Um, of those those like black militia I men like marking kidding. marching before I got on here that was the video that I watched I listen okay like I said I'm not here to shit on you what I'm I, I want to say that it, it wasn't very insightful I and feel well, like I left the video we'll go on the streets and march with BLM Hold I on, didn't felt like him. I left the video smarter than I came and I felt like your uh, your like uh, commentary on it wasn't very uh, insightful either because it kind of like just boiled down to well, they said black power. What if you say white power? Oh, no. It, they, uh, I don't know. Like, you didn't you say you believe in the First yeah, Amendment? Oh, I do, completely. Sure, but, like, then they're like, isn't the, isn't the whole thing, like, the whole, like, right-wing thing, like, protect yourself from a uh, from a tyrannical government? And if the oh, yeah. I, government I completely is protect support everything they're doing. I, the title of the video was the media. I was calling out the media. Who brought, who brought the slaves to America? 
I was just saying the fucking media always spins shit. The white okay. man. Uh, how did how did the slave ships come about? Um, they were built in Europe and then they were piloted by Europeans to America. He's trying to make an anti-Semitic thing. Really? Yeah. Who? How? How could? Uh, Go ahead. You can sound it out. How did they bring the slaves to America? They put them on boats <laughs> and then they. By the way, they didn't build them, them in, in Europe. They Bro, in you kind of derailed the conversation, Saeed. Anyways, it's just. <laughs> the, the people that think that whites brought the slaves to America are... I don't know. I, in all the pictures, it seemed... Well, all the drawn like images, it seems like there were white people piloting the boats and then piloted like, them to America. Yeah. Is, is skin ethnicity? Is skin ethnicity? Not exactly, yeah. but it can be. Is, skin, is ethnicity only skin color? No, not necessarily. Is there such a thing as the black race? The black race? What do you mean by race? Yeah. When you say race, what does race mean? You say, you say the white, the white race. I did not say, I did not use the right, I did not use the word the race once. I said people. Yeah, who, who are the, the white people? White people, usually people who we, uh... uh Caucasians? Well, not necessarily. White or people Jews. can mean a lot of things. Or North Africans, because there, there's white people in North uh, Africa. Native. I mean, they could be white. Are they white? There's Germanic... I consider them white. You consider them white. You know, in a, a a while ago, not too long ago, here in America, I don't know where you're from. I don't really care because the Who only country the is the only people. country is America. Okay. What a, a for a long time, Irish people weren't considered white. When this country was founded, it was founded for Anglo-Saxons. So those you swarthy think? Germanic people weren't allowed in. They weren't considered white. Do you think that you can go to like Europe, like Britain and Poland, and then uh, bring like a, a German, a German person and a Swedish person together and be like, "You're all buddies, you're white, haha, No, play and kiss and make up," and they'll be like, "No, our well, what, families why, have been murdering each other for generations." We, you, you remember World War Two and World War One, those two big world wars about germ about uh, European okay. people fighting European That's people. Racism, no. When you say white guilt and white people have. When did I use the term white, white guilt? I'd please please tell me. Why, why do you say that? It's, it's say racist. It. Imagine if I said black people are... Uh... Black, I mean, white guild is really cringe. It's really stupid. I saw that video on Twitter of like those white people bowing down to like the black people and their neighbors. That was disgusting and stupid and does not foster healthy uh, relationships between those different groups in that, uh, in that state. That's really stupid. Um, it, there should be mutual respect among other people as human beings. Yeah, but it, it just kind of... Yeah, I mean, at least you can admit that. Just when Your I came in, it arguments have been so what? just disjointed. What? You're so admit, weird. What? I think you had some. I think you had some prejudice against Shark side that you you thought he had some opinions he doesn't hold. Okay. I mean, no, but he he did say that he was he was saying he was basically he came about very arrogantly though. I mean, I don't have to be arrogant. You didn't provide any arguments. <laughs> No one policing now. Yeah, you're really. Are you triggered or something? No, I'm you sound not really. Triggered. You sound I'm really triggered right now. That, you know, when when you when you come like that, you're not gonna learn anything. Well, I'm not, not telling you anything if you just want to speak and speak. I didn't want to make this. And not prove anything. So. Very interesting. And Thank you. I, you gotta go easier, man. Go easy on my friend here. He doesn't it's, have to go it's, easy it's on not, me. Like I said, I don't care about civility. He doesn't have to be nice to me. I'm saying. He doesn't have to be nice to me. That's fine. No, I don't like the 2v1 aspect that's you, going you, on here. You okay? literally said that uh, currency is what we imagine it to be. Yes, it you, is. You said that. that is, no, currency that's is whatever we have, we all agree is a common store of value. C currency is, is something that has va value in itself. Anyways, this okay. is a completely different okay. thing. You know. You're telling me that the American paper dollar has intrinsic value? You're telling me if I no, walk out into the middle of the woods and then start bartering with some random person? Yeah, don't worry about me. Sorry, man. I the value you, of American I, currency. I, I said, currency needs to have value. You said currency value is something that has value. You pay taxes with it. That's the only value no, it has. If you say it's currency, it doesn't mean it's, it's currency. Like <laughs> a paper, I, I can burn it. It, it, it has no intrinsic value. Random topic. Yeah, but it, it has no intrinsic value. No, I like to hear him. I like to hear him go. It's really interesting. So it's if, really if interesting, print, actually. If you print more money than, than you actually... If you print too much Go money, ahead. you're gonna uh, Sound it inflate out. the current. Yeah, really. Yeah, and yeah. then if you don't, you don't print enough, then you have the opposite. Wow, that's crazy. 
When did you figure that out? Yeah, but I'm I'm telling you. Okay. Because you don't know, you think so the the value changes. Okay. Uh, for gold, it's up. The value never changes. Uh, for for what the value never changes? Into, into paper money. It's, Wait, it's you're telling me value. in like ancient as Even in like if your society collapses, it's gonna have the same value. You're telling me where like the when the Europeans came to North America yeah. and they literally talked about the uh, the uh, Native Americans who had cities of gold, who just like your poorest peasant had gold. You're telling me that this has constant uh, intrinsic yeah, value? Yeah, constant value. What if Cause I just don't like gold? What well, if I don't? No, hold gold on. never changes in value. You can, you can ask anyone. That. What are you talking uh, about? There's a gold Shark tracker. Gold currency. Any, anyone who's is, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's clear some things up here. Shark, is gold currency yes or no? What do you... Um, it can be. There, it's agreed. It's if yeah, there's a if if we live in a different world, if I'm in the middle of the Amazon rainforest getting chased by a tiger and someone runs up to me in their ATV and offers me gold or like a wingsuit to fly out of there, what's more valuable to me is the wingsuit. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but in different situations to different people in different parts of the world at different parts of time, things cost different. Well, that's why I said when the I, Europeans I think, came here to the I'm, ancient I'm to the Native what, Americans, what the poorest people have gold. If you go to India, your poorest person has a gold necklace. Right, why? Right. I wanna okay. I'm gonna take control of this conversation and, and kind of shift it back to an earlier discussion you two had where you're like, should a doctor and a garbage man get paid the same or not? What do you think, Shark? Yes or no? A doctor and a and a garbage man get paid the same? Should they get paid the same in like your ideal world? Um, I mean, if we're talking about super, I mean, no, I, I sh don't even say that. Don't even say that, Chris. <sighs> no, no, they say shouldn't. It. Uh, we, we don't care, dude. No, Welcome. because you'll no, because you'll talk about it. you're not you, you can't handle that argument. I'm sorry. Oh, OK, we can't handle it. OK, you you're can't. Just, you're just scared to uh, be refuted. Oh, no, no, come on. No, no, I, I gave I gave my answer. I'm, I'm I gave my it. answer. I said, no, they shouldn't. Anyway, I said, no, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. Okay. Well, I mean, it kind of depends because let's say if we have a, a business that has really good business, right? And so they just keep boosting the pay of their workers and they keep boosting and boosting and boosting. And then one day they see that in this town, janitors are actually being poor, paid more than doctors in this other town. And then janitors would be paid more than doctors. That'd be the big headline. Janitors paid more than doctors, even though there's like a reasonable reason for these janitors, these specific janitors to be paid more than those specific doctors. That's a really good point. So there are, there are situations where that could happen. Sure. But, so uh, that's why I don't understand this weird blanket statement. Should, should doctors be paid the same as your janitors? He's trying to like say that he's trying to conflate. And I know exactly what he's trying to get at because I've ran through these arguments a million I mean, times over. He's trying to like conflate wealth redistribution. One way you could redistribute wealth is if everybody made the same amount of money for their flat rate across your job. Yeah, that's and what I'm course, saying. Is that say the doctors have to go through additional training, so maybe there's additional compensation there that should be earned or not? I don't know. I mean, I guess, but I'm not sure if we can like. I'm not arguing for like a so. base like. I, mean, I kind of think like if you want to become a doctor, it's kind of like it's a choice. What I'm saying is that I don't think there's like some base arbitrary in the we can like flip over a rock in the Serengeti and like find the correct price to pay a doctor's like hourly. My bad. Uh, like yearly uh, wage. I'm all I'm Do saying you, is that. The, well, well you he, have any, what, what, what if doctors and garbage men were paid the same? What, what would happen? Do you think? Well, what happened is. Everyone would be a garbage man. That's what would everybody happen. would garbage man until the supply of garbage man was so high, the demand dropped, and you wouldn't need as many garbage men. It would have the markets would have to equal out or something. I still am a market socialist. Like I don't know why you're bringing these like anti-market like ideas to me. I think the oh, see, uh, you, I think a market like in market. You're smart. You get I think it. a market in a well-regulated society does quite well for allocating t uh, resources to where people want it. Okay, um, so this is the argument between like Vosh and Sargon. They had this. Do you do you think like a corporation like a like a Walt McDonald's, for example, should be like worker co-op owned? Should it be worker co-op owned? 
Yeah, should it be worker co-op owned? And at what point does a mom and top qualify for the state kind of seizing it? If that does I don't, I don't. I, well, like like I said in the video, I never advocated for the government seizing any company. Um, I I think, like I said, I favor policies that would be like when a company first goes for sale. When a, so when a when the shareholders are selling a company. So right now. Um, the workers are first in line to pull together money and buy it, and then they can get a grant from the government to prior uh, to um, incentivize that. They can do things like that. They can um, uh, make laws against union busting and co even co op busting, making co op busting illegal for um, uh, uh, for employers to engage in things like that. I'm I'm looking for a smooth transition. I think we can easily get people from one from one place to the next. I know lots of people when they think of capitalism, they think of themselves in the end of like the world. History stops here. We move from like kingdoms and serfdoms to like uh, w like wild west bartering to um mar mixed economy with social programs and like a like a you know a welfare state and a, a market and everything we'll always keep moving and i'd like to push us in this direction and if that's a good direction then i'm great i think people would move there you think capitalism is slavery do i think capitalism is slavery yes like i mean when you're a low wage worker are you a slave i mean i think wage slavery is kind of real okay well, we agree, to be honest. I agree with that, but I feel like a wage slave right now. I agree that socialism is the answer. Hop in the wagey cagey. Um, wait, what? what? The thing is, you have no incentive for people to do more than, like, to, to get a higher paying. Like, people are motivated by money somewhat. Okay, and? Oh, well, hold yeah, on. So okay, so... Hold on, let me let me try to say it like this. Yeah. I don't know. Universal health care. Would you have like would you have like everybody gets like the government health you insurance and have you have a bunch of hospitals yeah. competing against each other? I'm sorry, could you say that again radically moderate? He was screeching over the mic. Would you like want to have like universal government health care, but a market of hospitals that compete against each other? But a market of hospitals I, that I feel like each you other. still need a market element because I've been like a government employee and at some point you're like you get fucking you get comfortable, you get lazy, and you, you know that there's no one really holding you accountable, and it's, I kind of want to avoid some of the, the fat and the bacon that might happen there. Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, I think a like universal insurance plan would be the best thing for a market economy, right? Now, instead of you having to deal with people who can pay and people who can't pay, everyone can pay. So now the whole, um, the whole country is now your, um, uh, is now your, uh, uh, someone you can market exactly. to now, even with, even in this country where lots and lots of people, I think like even a third of people in this country have a disability. Now the whole country, what? no matter how much you can pay, oh, no. can one, be marketed to. Sir, I am talking. Give me, I'll let you talk in a second. I'm sorry. I was asked the question. Okay. So the market would be the hospitals. Now they can do whatever they want. Hey, let's be a great hospital. So more people will come to this hospital. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, but I don't believe one third of America is uh, is disabled. Okay. What do you think about the idiocracy future, where for like making it really easy for for dumb people to, to affordable to have a, a huge amount of kids, and we're just gonna cause a bottom end of society of dumb people to keep breeding and having tons of kids because it's cheap and it's affordable yeah. and it's your food's paid for, your 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 child care is paid for. There's no stops bro i was shocked i i saw i saw is that a, a possibility paper. or is that there's probably maybe there'll be something to stop that wait apparently I, said I wants to say something go ahead bud. there was a there was a i found a paper where uh someone basically was able to have paid leave from the work and and guess why because they because they had depression or sorry they had stress so just because of stress, you, you can't work. Like, do they have chronic stress? How is that normal? Like, do they have chronic stress, or did you no, not look no, into it that? Says stress. Did you not look into that? Did so they? Did a doctor now, like some kind of huge illness now? Like, did I they get? get did they get prescribed that by world, a doctor, like, or do you not know? Illness, everything's uh. So I'm like, kind of torn. Genderism, of course, but okay. everything's anyway, a mental illness. Everything's a. I'm sorry. Uh, I, honestly, I'm sorry. Radically moderate. I'm sorry that I even tried to talk to him. I'll answer your question now. 
honestly, this is something that I've thought about for a little bit um, when it comes to uh, people with disabilities, uh, you know, it just being fine with them, uh, um, you know, having families and everything um, or or people who seem who I guess. What did you say? Like dumb people getting having kids and being taken care of? Yeah. The idiocracy future. Um, I don't really see that. Uh, with tech, with information being more and more available at all points in time at your fingertips, I feel like people are smarter than ever, and it's showing in our in our average IQ test. All right, even though you know this seems like a problem, our, for some reason our average IQ keeps going up, up and up and up. Well, for the uh, at the higher echelon, it's uh, slowed down and stayed around like a little bit over a hundred. Um, and for the people who are still coming up through the developed world, people who are in worse financial situations, worse worse nutrition, they're they're filling they're filling in those gaps and they're coming in right from right from the behind with no slow in sight so it seems like we're doing kind of fine um i i, I do worry about um you know sometimes you know in, in the future doing like the choosing what baby you have oh this baby has autism aborted I, I i can see i can see that being like an issue but i don't think like we're going to be run by stupid people soon so geez you just triggered me with the baby stuff there because i was abortion, thinking about- just abort the the defective babies that's we one way clinics for that i mean there we, there are people that do advocate that yeah just all the low iq peoples you know there's super stupid well, I, mean, I don't know how you know someone's low IQ. IQ. don't let them reproduce who me or so, saeed about iq what are you talking about I'm not uh, talk to you. sorry man I, well i wasn't talking I'm to you anyways but um, were you talking about me or Saeed about IQ? Does he know You're too much gonna, about IQ or me? You've been totally like subverted, <laughs> dude. What? That's what not productive. Of, hold on, Saeed. Seriously, yeah. that's like saying to you, you've been totally brainwashed. That doesn't fucking help the conversation along. You should be trying to unbrainwash him by providing facts or evidence <laughs> that might convince him. Don't just say he's brainwashed. That's not he's fucking just, helpful. He's not listening though. No, what are you, he is listening. What are you oh, talking about? Talk what are you talking about? Wait, wait, stop. Though. Let me let me go back through a conversation that we had like 30 minutes ago. Um, so you think currency is whatever you want it to be? Yes, whatever we choose to be currency, whatever we put value in is, yeah, is currency. Shit, shit. And then you said, oh, well, if, if I shit and then people want it, is that currency? And I'm like, yeah, if that's currency, if you have a society that oh, runs literally stupid. off your shit, that can happen. And then you go, you're stupid, <laughs> then. You, like, okay. You're basically, so you're saying in the, in the modern day, I can have a shit as a currency. And no, bro, bro, listen, listen. He hypothetically anything's fucking yeah, possible. Hypothetically anything can happen. That's yeah. why that's why we don't talk in the hypotheticals. That's oh, so that's why. Di- wow, if that's you why you thought that video question, was like give a hypothetical answer. That's why you thought that video was killer. Like you you sent me a video of Let's Brittany Venti out. going, "Look, Destiny said hypothetically once." <laughs> one said, anti-intellectual he said, and this is unironically what you believe yeah, that's crazy he said he said uh, cp would be good because then you don't have you know uh, peas who are less likely to do it in real life so you can you can do pre-made cp basically for them um is, well is that like normal? he said hypothetically in a world where it that's was proved in a in, 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 hypothetically in a world where it was proven that CP was able to reduce P's um, uh, uh, propensity to commit assault on children. Then that's a good thing. Wow, it sounds like a good thing to me. What do you about you? Or do you no, just like on. more children being assaulted? I, I muted Side for a second. It's like Side, don't make Shark defend a destiny statements. That's not fair. I mean, or they're. Explain. When are they just, I mean, I, sure, but and like they're also, just like so easy statements to agree with. And then also another thing is there's it's you have two poison pills. You have to pick one. That's kind of what Destiny's choose. It's kind of saying either you can have CP pictures or maybe you have or maybe you have them, them act out or something. And it's like they're both lose lose. Maybe there's a third option we haven't imagined yet. That's better. But, you know, hey, sure. I mean, let's let it, it's kind of like this, right? Here's what his argument boiled down to, as far as I remember, because it's a long time ago. He doesn't talk about this anymore, and probably good reason. If we already have this bad thing that exists, right? And we didn't make it. We didn't help make it. It just happened in the world, because bad things happen in the world. What if we can use this bad thing for good? Is that bad? You know, you know what your argument is like? It's like, it's like the people who, uh, 
the guy who's saying yeah he's gonna put billions into developing a cure for uh like various stds instead of actually fixing the root of the issue which is you know people being promiscuous homosexuality all this shit is that the so root of the really issue strong muslim in case you didn't know i mean i don't really care it's not like he's gonna do anything in my country uh, no, I love it though. He gives me perspectives on things I I don't I don't know. I mean, sure. So, I mean, I, I, he can see that. Fixing the root. So do 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 you actually cut the root or do you just uh, cut the uh, like the leaves? Why? Um, the depend root? depends which ones. It depends Why? on which one's it's easier much. and or which one provides the most good. Great. Why did great you point. What's what's transitionist in the racial politics and racial inequality? Do you address the problem or do you go for the root of the issue? What what is the root of the issue, metaphorically speaking? For what racial issues in this country? I don't know. Just I guess some people say that there's like um there's racial wealth inequality and that that has to be a, a fix. It's, it's, it's all the media. It's all That's the what media. Some people say. There is well, f- well descriptively, awesome. yes, there is racial um like income and inequality I'm not, I'm not white i don't care but thank you for sharing i'm white i'm not, I'm not about this white people are devils and all this shit or, Who, or like what are you talking like, about we weren't even what are you talking about i'm just telling you like that i've seen, we've seen it yesterday we've we seen some guy he was saying white and jewish people are are the true savages okay do I agree with them? That was no. Canon. All right, that thank was you. Canon. Bro, did I say you agreed with that? Why are you, you bringing it up? Why do I care? Why do I care what someone else said yesterday? Why do I care? Tell me. Bro, hypothetically speaking, Shark could then bring up Richard Spencer or other white nationalists he doesn't like, or even Hitler. Like, we can bring up random people all day long. I don't agree with Hitler's. I don't thing understand. About I don't understand what he's saying. But I'm, I'm just telling you. Anyways. Listen. Okay, what were we? What were we even talking about? Listen. Okay. My bad. Bro, what, Sorry. What I let him. I let him derail me. The issue usually, the issue usually comes from misunderstandings and also like uh, baked in uh, uh, things that you've gotten from your family and um, a separation from people based on race. Because we still have a lot of the effects of redlining in this country. Lots of white people grow up where lots of black people can't afford to live, and we've seen that in inner cities that l- racial tensions drop because people grow up in the same class as other people when you when you're a white person and you grow up in a class when you're a black person or an hispanic person you grow up in the same class as white black and hispanic people and you've made friends with them and they're your bosses and they're your uh and they're your um uh, co-workers that's great and that brings down racial tension and that makes the world a better place and that's usually one thing that we can do sure yeah yeah i agree i agree Okay. Also, later, uh, my bad, I'm sorry. I messed up. I said one third of Americans are living with a disability. It's actually tw- 61 million, 26%. Sorry, then that's oh, one okay. fourth. Uh, that's one fourth, not one, one third. That's almost a third. That, yeah. that's no, a hold on, I have a question. Do they count being overweight as a disability? Um, It could, and it <laughs> is. It, at a certain level, it is, yes. It is. I mean, if you need to get a crane to get in and out of your house, I'll call that a disability. And you can say how you got that disability is this or that, but it is a disability. I, I always, I'm always yeah, weary of statistics. You were, you were saying help people with dis. The issue is the is the root. Why why are people even why are people even getting over overweight? Um, like I address the issue, the 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 sources. One big Don't thing, and I like, do you guys know do you guys know a, a uh, um uh actual justice warrior? No. You know, I thought you'd know him radically moderate. You're in the, you're kind of in the same vein as him. Um, Actual Justice Warrior is a YouTuber, I think. He is, yes. I haven't seen his content, but I'm aware of him. Okay, well, I made a video on him a while back, and um, he was arguing against um, what he called a liberal takeover uh, and a babysitting of poor communities, right? And what it was was a lot of cities were implementing um, policy that made like your local Dollar General, Dollar Tree, things like that um uh carry fresh food so like broccoli bananas apples um fresh meats as well so that people in inner cities where 
And in rural places where lots of um, uh, big grocery stores don't set up, they have access to fresh food. So in those areas, which usually have higher obesity because they have less uh, access to good food, can now reach good food to hopefully make better choices. It's about leading people to better choices. You can't make a horse drink. You can't have someone, you can't force water down someone's throat. You um, just have to lead them to good choices and hope that they do. Exactly. It's managing incentives. What, what about working physically? What are you talking that, about? As well. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about either. Exercise, exercise. It'd be good to promote exercise, yes. Yeah. We should mandate exercise. We should mandate a girlfriend like, too. Says, oh, what you're talking about? Everyone gets a girlfriend too. Sorry, man. The White okay. Report. Didn't you just say you had to go home? You had to leave later? You're still here. Apparently, you, you like the sound of my voice or something. Um... Explain better. He said, explain what's better food. Better food is like not Stouffer's. Better food is like not a freaking a grape gulp in your local uh, Did you say I said Dollar General. Better food is like fresh food, like oranges, apples, grapes. There you go. That's fresh food. Bro, I didn't say no, I... bro. He's not talking about you having to leave. He's talking about the uh, the Whitefield report. A guy in my chat who uh, uh, subbed to my channel recently saying that leave. And no, you're talking about food deserts, which is like you know. Does. I went downtown to my my local downtown in Colorado Springs, half million people. And what? There's a convenience store. There's a Seven Eleven. That's not a fucking department full grocery store stocked of all the produce you could want. It's fucking just cheap, convenient food made to reserve. Sitting, in the... it's not healthy, but it's calories. And so yeah, I agree that people don't have access to fucking the best food. Yeah, and then we wonder why they get fat. I mean, come on now, obviously. That uh, mixed on to like longer working days and less compensation, people get home tired and go, I just want a freaking, I, I just want to like a microwave macaroni. That's all I want, right? And then they eat that, go to bed, and they get fat. Like, sorry, um, it, our society doesn't help people who are in poor situations get why, better why, food. Why, why do American women worry, marry their pets? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, were you? There, there were things, you know, why are you making was, him defend American women? Now? Wait, Come wait on. a second. What? Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Salad. Where do you live, bro? There, there was a thing in. Uh, wait, in no. Europe. Answer the question. Where do you live, bro? You, you cut me. I didn't Where do you finish. live? Let me finish. I think he's in Algeria or something. Dude, oh, me... Algeria! Wow, what bro, a progressive dude. place. Don't you guys like crucify people for like? sorcery or something where you live who did you guys mute each other no i'm, I'm muted him because he's cutting me i was gonna say no, in... hey no no you don't issue server mutes only i issue server mutes on this server <laughs> bro but he didn't let me finish i i said two words and then he's like oh my god kind of please finish anyways out. and he's like oh your country is so progressive hey, please finish Dude, just shut up man you don't even know anything I, you're <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. I mean, thirsty, seriously. I mean, I don't know a lot about Algeria. Probably most Americans don't know a lot about Algeria. Are you, it is true, right? Algeria, my friend. What? You are from Algeria, right? Though? Well, not, they don't even know the language. They, I they, don't know what language. I'll admit it. History. They, they know nothing. This guy knows nothing. And he's saying, oh, so progressive. Just shut up, dude. I mean, that was, a little pre up. that was a little prejudicial shark, maybe. Because... Yeah. I mean, the country as and a whole, on average, may not be progressive, but we and don't know Saeed's individual. I wasn't talking person. about it. I was just talking about the country. It doesn't matter. His his morality is all messed up. It's upside down. So what? Oh, what does that matter? Not necessary. Saeed. He doesn't know this, the history. He's not, he knows nothing. <laughs> you want to tell us about Algeria's history? Yeah, yeah he, please. He's been domesticated. He. I'd love an I Algerian mean, history test. In in Norway, they they allow they allow now to marry your pet. You can marry your pet. This doesn't sound because, like Niger uh, Algerian well, why history. Why did they do that? Okay, can you explain? Because that? Norway is a degenerate country. Wait, why? What why? did you say? Why they're degenerate? What are they doing? They have all these social programs. People there, are there. marrying their dogs. They're, they're literally, a dream of shark. Basically, he should he should go there. I mean, why, if, why, why people are why did, do they have so much mental illness? I mean, if they're suicide, able to like, like marry the dog but not abuse the dog, I don't really care. Okay, so I, I mean, in Japan, people are marrying their anime. Marry a donkey, a donkey. Sure, I mean, if you're marrying your anime and not 
assaulting your anime or the anime creators. I don't really care what you're doing. Have fun. Says the reason you marry your pet is so you can fuck it. So do, do, yeah, do you want to do it so strange? But that's why do, I said if you're marrying the pet and not cool. fucking the pet, then great. People have no sense of morality. because they, they don't believe in God. They're atheists. They're socialists. They believe in total bullshit, basically. And that's, that's why that's happening. It's really interesting. Thank you. That's, that's a nice opinion. That's a really that's cool smart. opinion. Yeah. I'm entitled to an opinion. That's really cool. Wait, you still live in Algeria, right? Bro, what the, what does it matter? So why I are you talking about, why are you talking about American world. politics? You don't know anything point. about America. What? You don't know anything about America. Why are you talking about I American didn't... politics? I mean, I mean maybe I you know a little I bit. Live live in a place to know about it. Whoa! I mean, I so I didn't live in, in America. So I, don't I have to America live in Algeria to talk to to talk to you? Mm-hmm. Crazy. So be, being be, living in an area doesn't mean you. Yeah, I agree. I mean, That's crazy, dude. If you don't live there, you don't, it doesn't mean you don't know about it. Very interesting. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. He might know something about America, seeing how like everyone's always talking about we are the world hegemony. Now Algeria, the, the, the world is not busting out of there all the time. Where is the Algeria? World. Is that near Saudi Arabia? Or is it near like uh Algeria? Is that an African country? It is an African country. Yeah, it's, it's not. Uh, oh, it's is that, that one weird it's that it's that one weird African country. I like that one. I like its shape. I like it fits it looks like a little jigsaw puzzle piece to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I insult you, but you, you you always you either cut me or you call me you say, Oh yeah, it's so for good like it's just it's stupid, man. I'm s i am i am sorry, it's not if if you say something then then prove it if you say it's why it's when when you say it's not prog- progressive or it's not this it's not that then you, that's actually a moral claim and you have to justify it why why should and what's pro- progressivism anyway uh, someone can some perspective I, I would argue that i would argue then that the thing is uh, pro- uh, progression is regression actually oh shit. so it depends how you int- interpret it. It's, it's not just, it's not anyone who doesn't agree with you is, is backwards. You, you see what I'm saying? People don't have to agree with you. Um. Yeah, I mean, well, what do you mean by people don't have to agree me, with me? I mean, it's not like I think people, everyone must agree with me or else I'll die. But I think for the world to be, you know, move in a better direction, that, quicker, I think people should agree with me. You didn't say I think or whatever. Even if you say I think, then it's it's still a statement a statement of fact. I can I can deny it. I mean, you can. You, I'm not saying that you can't. I'm just saying that you know it's probably wrong, and you can be wrong, but you have to accept that you're wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just it's it's okay, bro. Algeria is a shit piece of shit country. Yeah, and... I think Trump would even call that a shithole country if I think about it. Yeah. Well, we're joking, bro. It doesn't even surprise me, anyway. <laughs> He's, not, so not He's so triggered. He's so triggered. It's so predictable. Like I've heard this since I was a kid. Like I don't even, I don't even care anymore. How does it feel to be African? It feels dude, great. Are you wow. an African? He's at. Well, Algeria is in Africa. He's African, dude. Damn, man. He's going, but he was Kangs. It's crazy. We're, we're born with coffee in our blood. That's how much Algerians love coffee. With cough? Oh, with coffee? coffee. I hate coffee. Coffee tastes disgusting. I'd rather have tea. We have coffee in our bl- in our blood. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey! Why the fuck do you guys cook the coffee in the sand like that? That's fucking weird. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't like it. Just African <laughs> things. Yeah. Knock it off. That's yeah, true. Anyways, I don't trust Africans. Uh, it's three a.m. now. What the fuck, you guys? I mean, it's but, five a.m. What's wrong with capitalism? Ca- capitalism is mostly good. I mean, if like, oh, of course, you, I don't know how to say it. In capitalism, people get paid what what they deserve, basically. Well, not. Do you oh. think people get paid what they deserve today? No, in, in a capitalist system. We're we are in a capitalist people, system. People, by definition, usually always work the best paying job that they can. Yeah. Um. Uh, I put the word can in there. That they can? Sure. I yeah. mean, they'll they'll get the best paying position that they can get. And That's true. What what hurts me is it's way too materialistic. Like this whole these whole discussions. It's like seriously, do do you actually need that much money? Like 
even if you, even if you're poor in America, you still have you're still way better than like ninety percent of the world. Why should like, we seriously? settle for poor people? They're still poor. You know, America has some of the yeah, worst poverty in the developed the world, world, right? You know, we have the okay. worst poverty in the in the developed world, right? Let me let me take a question at Shark now because I always see people talk about it. I need to get someone from the left's opinion on this. People say, "Oh, America has poverty," and so like you know, like the bottom twenty percent are the poor. Their poverty isn't that kind of like a definitional question. If you say like compared to the top the richest earner, if you make less than like ten percent of their threshold, you're poor. And then why do we have poor people? We need to eliminate the poor. You will never ever eliminate poor people because of the way you're defining it. I don't know. Bro, it, it's hilarious, man. You you see people with like new SUVs, new phones, marching in the street uh, against the system, saying that. Oh, I want them to answer. Or, um, can you restate? Can, sorry, can you restate the, your question? My question is that people like say like America is shitty because that is poverty, and I'm trying to say that. Well, if you're defining that people are they're in poverty because they don't make so much, relatively speaking, yeah, compared to the richest earners, they don't make so much, but globally they make a lot. So yeah. is it really it's kind of like a weird way to say they're in poverty and we need to get rid of poverty. Absolutely. Like you, I you don't can think... still do a lot. Even compared to history. Like if yeah, you compare history. I don't think so at all. I don't think well, for me, I think America should be the best country in the world. I don't think that we should settle for anybody in poverty. Anybody in whatever we would consider poverty is a bad thing. Um, so I don't really care for like how people in like Bangladeshi like slums are doing compared to how someone sleeping on the street in Nashville is doing. If you're That's suffering, you're issue. suffering. Obviously, the person like sleeping in the street in Nashville is probably going to have a little bit more money access to them than uh, someone sleeping in like I don't know, on the street of like a blown up building in Iraq. That being said, that's not good. I want everybody to have a house. Have everybody have like the opportunity to be the best they can be because those people are wasting away on the streets. That's sad. I agree, man. But it doesn't sound like you do. Say, people, even people who live like in, the, in like, you know, apartment blocks and, you know, they're, they have to rely on government. They still they still have ex access to much more luxuries than even the king like a hundred years back or something like that and and people back in the day with you know with nothing they could they could do so much great things we're not talking about back in the day though we're talking about now i don't care how like king tut lived i, I care about how people yeah, on the, the street issue. live because you're focused on the material the current material reality like people People. Well, that's all we can focus on, though. But well, you want us I'm, to go to like homeless people on the street and just pray at them really hard no, and then just walk away? Homeless. I'm talking about people who have a house, who have access to essentials, and you those know, people don't, don't probably have, fall on the poverty no. threshold. What do you mean you by know, access to a, essentials? What does that mean, access to essentials? Like because food, seventy percent, you know, toilet. Because seventy percent of Americans. Uh, over the last year, had to skip out on an essential. So, who? I didn't get seventy percent of Americans. Seventy. Seventy. Yeah. Skip out on an essential what? Like, food, water, oh. lighting, rent. Yeah, everyone has to skip on that sometimes. Seventy percent of Americans. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you just don't eat. In like, the last eating, year. I mean, that, that's fine. You gotta admit, we have terrible saving and spending habits. Isn't it like half of Americans don't have five hundred dollars in their savings account or something? Half of Americans don't have enough money for a two hundred dollar emergency. I think that was it. Some, something like that. Uh, so, like, you think in the richest country in the world, richest country in the world, this is just like people just kind of spend bad. It has nothing like institutionally wrong with our like systems. People just kind of spend bad. They just buy too much uh, avocado toast. Hardly. Yeah, I don't know about that though. I mean, the we, I mean, at the at the individual level is where a change happens. So we need individuals to make better yeah, yeah. choices. People need, need to be people need to be thankful and and do what with what they have. That's I think I, a poor I'm, person on the street can be thankful when we put through policies so they can get it, a house and they can get on their feet and get a job and but then be people, people and then be productive members of society. I think that's, that's when they can be thankful, not when they're like sitting on the street like begging for coins to get a, a muffin.
No, but the, how many people you've met? There's like almost no homeless. I try not to meet homeless people. They scare me. I did meet a few, but it's where I live. It's not that much, to be honest. Okay. Most people have a home because I also live in so, America, or because they work, or you know. When I Most lived in Wisconsin. Are, not a lot of homeless people. I blame the cold weather. Yeah, even in yeah, Colorado, way more homeless people. Yeah, but a lot of them decide though. A lot of them are like drug addicts and stuff like that. I, they didn't decide to be a drug addict. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, but the, the issue, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to say in general, if if you have a home, if you have whatever you have, you should be thankful. To be honest, whatever you have, you should be thankful. That's a good statement. I agree. Be How thankful for what you have. Uh, there's things I don't have. I'm not. I'm not gonna. In the U.S. The system because of that. Just in the U.S. I there are exactly what I want. Like I'm. I'm gonna work with what I have. Cool. You know, and show, bro, you you would. Do you know what you can actually do just with a, a pen and paper? <laughs> it's incredible. And, and then f- imagine with a, you have a computer, you have you have what you have. Can you feed your family with a pen and paper? What? Can you feed your family tonight with a pen and paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight. What, what, what journalist? What's, you can what's, feed uh, your family you know, tonight stories, with a pen and paper. Bro, there's people who write novels. There are people who write uh, uh, journals. There's people who draw for a living. You can... Like, seriously. You don't realize how how much you have. You can feed your family tonight with a pen and paper. Yeah, you can, you can feed more than one family. You can feed, you know, multiple okay. families. Okay. Some if people you say so. Bro, look, look at the artists in in history. Okay. What what did they have? A pen and a paper. Okay. All right. Yep, I bet that's Probably all they had. A pen and a paper. No, they probably really pen and paper. But maybe the pen and paper has an IOU from his friend who owes him a hundred thousand dollars. That's true. He, he may get a small loan of a million dollars with that pen and paper. Yeah. Maybe yeah, the pen and paper the president bro, is worth a lot of money. Bro, I, I, I could name you some artists right now. They, they, they make way more than that. Just okay. with a pen and paper. Wait. So you're telling me like the the Saeed has solved homelessness. Gives all homeless people pen and paper. Homeless rate drops to zero. Okay. Bro, you know, I'm there are 500,000, there are half a million people who are homeless on the street in America did every I night. 500,000 people. Did I say that? I didn't say that. I, I, think, I, I think people should be thankful with what they have because even something as, as, as simple as a pen and a paper, you can, you can do a lot with it, a lot with it. If you're an intelligent person, I think the Bible's right when they said that the poor will always be with us, and yeah. it's part of its definition it's of solve poverty. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's a false. Some people are just higher than than other others in society. I think a lot of All people who are, who are homeless should be in mental institutions. Some people are going to be more like slaves, and some people are going to be more like non-slaves, like masters, masters. Even if you call it something else, you can call it capitalism. It's it's always going to be there. Even when full I mean. fucking uh, brave new world on us there. <laughs> some people are natural leaders and some are natural pawns. Yeah. Um. Well, I think we should fix poverty with redistributive social policy and not like, I don't know, handing them it pieces of paper. I mean, Could you... you- gonna be able to fully solve it like everyone's equal i don't care could you just give an example of a a social policy that you think could you know do something positive uh do something positive yeah um we could we could help uh bolster homeless um homeless shelters we can do uh one thing that we can do to get uh, lots of people who are homeless have a lot of uh, drug abuse issues um uh, subsistence uh, uh addiction um one thing we'd have um paid for um, social, just like on the street, sort of um, safe injection sites, um, places with like doctors there to help them get help, social service workers, things like that. Changing police um, to be filled more with social service workers so people would uh, uh, talk to people uh, on the street instead of like coming over the gun, kicking over their like homeless encampment and then throwing them in jail. That doesn't really seem to help get people off the street, does it? Um, these things help get people off the street. Um, also uh, uh, affordable housing programs things like that this is all great and things that have been proven to show to reduce homelessness and also Um, uh, drug uh, um, drug deaths i don't want to do a shameless self-plug have you 
Uh, you probably haven't seen it. I interviewed a series of homeless people for my YouTube channel way back when it began. Kind of just talking, about, hey, why are you homeless? What happened? What's going on here? God, I wish I could remember their answers. But you, I'm telling my audience, you should go back and check them out. Uh, this one, one guy got hit by a train. His name was Trainwreck. Oh, just like what Carface. What? Just like Carface. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying. He was talking pure bullshit, man. Yeah, I think he was drinking. I think he was drunk. But these, I, I don't know if he could keep a house if you, if you just gave one to him. It seems like he needs like a manager, a personal manager, a life manager. Well, he could have been like high at that moment. Let's try to. Where are those videos? I don't know. I mean, oh, yeah, like the homeless people have a lot of problems. I mean, if I was homeless, I'd probably be drunk a lot, too. Like, I mean, fuck else am I supposed to do? I'm homeless. Let's see here. Tammy wants. To, why is Dwayne homeless? Because I don't know why these people are homeless. I thought I'd ask them. Let, let me share my screen. Nineteen eighty nine, Jesus Christ. So oh, what do we what do we do about people like Dwayne here, where he says he doesn't want to deal with the complications involved in getting a home, doesn't mind being homeless, just needs to know where the food is. Um, sounds like a very happy person to me. Who cares? Okay, all right. So yeah, so a lot of times these homeless people are they are they're okay with being homeless. They're not even like, hmm. Sometimes they are. Are you sure he's just not it's rationalizing it now because he's homeless and he feels like he has nowhere to go? So you might as well like rationalize it because he doesn't feel like his life will ever change. Oh, great point. He might be rationalizing it post fact. Great point, Shark. Thank you so much for thinking like that. I appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, because he could. He said he's homeless for a while. Lots of people just give up. Um, lots of people get very sad. They they sit down after trying really hard. And they never get back up again. I've, I mean, personally, I have a large problem with failure. Failure is a big uh, a deterrent for me to start to start new things. Oh, I feel like after I failed, I feel like there's nowhere else to go. I, a lot of times, and I could f totally see myself like I get homeless, and then I'm just like, "Fuck, dude! I there's no way out of here. I just might as well just rot." And that's sad. But and we need to get help to these people. So. It's yeah, it is like an incentives thing. Like this guy, I mean, he's got the food. He's it's comfortable in Colorado. The winters are really mild, so he doesn't really have an incentive to find a place to live. So he's just gonna keep on chilling. Sure. I mean, I don't. Uh, is he getting like social security? I don't know if he's getting like social security checks. I mean, I, if he is, then he. I mean, he he worked, so he's entitled to them anyways. But if this dude just like is like, yeah, I'm fine being homeless. I want to be homeless. Who cares? And like he genuinely is like, I like being homeless. I like the adventure. This is how I want to live my life. Who cares? Sounds like the most American thing to me. Except for like, I guess, I don't know, the city makes it illegal. I mean, this park used to be a really nice park, but then like homeless people took it over and then they took away all the swings and stuff because no one was using it. Yeah, sounds so, like uh, we need to deal with the homeless. Sounds like we need more affordable housing. Sounds like we need more social security, social programs to get these people on their feet and off the street. Because, I don't know, sending in cops to bust down homeless encampments, do you think that, like, in lessens po homelessness? Like, people get any, the last things that they own in their life destroyed by the police, and then they're like, ah, yes, now I will become a Harvard doctor. It's kind of like they just sink into being more poor um we should get these people off the street on their feet be productive members of society sounds fun to me oh uh, this yeah i mean i want them off the street but if how many of them have Dwayne's rationale where they just don't mind being on the street 
Well, like like we said, he could just be rationalizing it. And then when he's off the screen, he goes to sit down and starts to cry because oh, yeah, he feels right. like he can't go anywhere. People to kind of change their mind about wanting to be their situation. I hi- Also, I reject the notion that a, a sizable amount of the homeless population are just like, yeah, I love being homeless. <laughs> then it wouldn't be a homeless crisis because they wouldn't want to be homeless. It would just be homeless people. And honestly, if there were just homeless people who like being homeless and it's fun being homeless and you don't get like your, your shit kicked in by the local police for being homeless, then I mean, is that really a problem? Less people in homes, more people like going on about. I bet these people, I don't know, maybe even eat better if they try hard enough. Um, it sounds, sounds, sounds fine. I mean, problem but is yeah. It's not fucking safe because they set up all their camps by like the river and then someone else is like, I'm, I was trying to clean up all their trash they left by the park because I was so sick of all the fucking trash left everywhere. I'm just, I'm just going rogue down there. Some guy like threatens me with like a razor blade. And I guess he was like a drug dealer to the people who live down there or something. And it's just like, man, why you got to be doing crime? I'm just trying to clean up the river. Well, let's sound like we need to implement social policy to get them off the street and on their feet so they won't be doing that. Anyways. I mean, what do you, I mean, so, like what, have, there's no have, other option to do. Institutions for these people. Say again? Some of them. I said some of them need to be reinstitutionalized. Um, if we could get, if mental help is what help, would help a lot of these people, then sure. Okay. Sound like we need social service workers we out there. We agree on a lot of things, dude. But I just got to apparently uh, not advocate policies that make the world worse. Um, I'd, I'd, um, I'd implore you to look into a lot of these topics. You know what? Here I've, got, here I've got something for you. Actually, here's my parting gift to you, okay? Because uh, I honestly never expected to speak to you. Um, so th- here's my parting gift. I want, I, want you to, I want you to actually spend, uh, if, if you would, it would bring great joy to me and my community if you would spend any time looking this through, because I feel like it would do you a lot of good, okay? Here, let me, let me send this to you. I think you'll actually really enjoy it. Um, what is this? This is voice chat. Can I send this in voice chat chat? And no one sent anything yeah. in here before. Yeah, voice chat chat works. Here you go. Institutional racism. There's more topics in there, but that's the one at the top. This goes over. Whoa. These are researched and peer reviewed studies on certain topics in the world. There's a large research document. This one was put together by Vosh and a man named Rose Wrist, who lives in Sweden, I believe. I'm going to be putting one together as well sometime soon. That works off this as well. So. This goes over many topics, immigration, uh, ra- uh, the to- at the top with the biggest section is racial injustice, um, implicit, bias of the pol- implicit bias of the police, how black people are treated in the criminal justice system, in every section of the criminal justice system, LGBTQ issues, transition, uh, uh, trans issues as well, death penalty, uh, lots of things. I think you could actually enjoy it. Um, I know I did. I appreciate that. Let me, uh, let me throw one new source at you since... <sighs> Let me, uh, cause uh, it's, it's a funny, it's a troll. Where's, where's my list of, maybe you've seen it. The list of hate facts. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's not the it, one right? where like, like 70 facts. Sure. It's not the one with like 70, um, percent of the links don't even work anymore. Or they do. Maybe they don't. I, maybe, maybe you're right. I don't know. I think I, I know exactly what you're talking spread, about. Spread bad information. Oh, that thing is just, well, it, for one, it was put together by a literal Nazi, like unironic, like Jewish question. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Like, isn't okay. send me send me the link because I'm pretty sure the site is even like literally like an alt right site. All I have is an archive link to it. Let me uh try to bring up. I got so many tabs. Where is where do I keep that? Oh, where is that? Don't close that. No, go away. Chrome. Here we go. Oh yeah, Library of Hate. Yeah, maybe I don't know how I found it. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm in the wrong circles. <laughs> very, I go. I mean I assume you no, very no, much no, are. I, I dabble in the wrong circles because I want to know what everybody's thinking. I follow, I follow Destiny. I follow Vosh. I follow Sargon. I follow everybody. Um, there is the archive link. Have you seen I mean, this I'm, one before? I'm on it. Yes, I've seen this one before. I've been okay. through it. Maybe it's bullshit. 
hopefully hopefully yeah um this reminds me a lot of um a lot of the things were misquoted in here and are uncontext uncontextualized um this really reminds me of there are some people who go around saying that like in europe lots of people lots of like muslim and like uh arab country people are getting off scot-free of rape because of like cultural issues which just isn't happening for one um ooh, yikes um there there was a really interesting story okay and it was there was this kid he was from uh like iran or something he was in uh, uh england he was like 17 he ran around he grabbed a bunch of girls butts and then he was taken obviously to court and then when he was at court uh what they said was like uh, um, what they found out was like, hey, his mom died. He wasn't he wasn't raised with good values. His dad was never there for him. And so he had um, a, a, um, like a bad upbringing. And this should play into the fact that, um, that he's not entirely culpable for his actions, that including in him being a minor. Um, so that's what got him a lesser sentence and just parole instead of going to jail. Like it would happen to like a, like a random English person there. And then they'd say like, this is look, uh, uh, Muslim people are getting off on rape because of cultural differences. Like, no, that's not what hap- what's happening. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of cultural differences. If he had came from a culture where like an angle sphere, minor, what oh, age, yeah. what age was he? 17. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it- Anyways, yeah, hey, I'm back. So, hey, I'm just, man, I appreciate the link. I appreciate the information. I love the yeah. fact you came on here and called me out because that that's so great. I need more productive dialogues, not less. A lot of people don't want to debate. Yeah. And don't contribute to the conversation. No problem. Like I like I said, um, my goal is for you to. I, I want you to. I want to look up to your uh, um, YouTube channel, not down. I want to be. Uh, I want to be like, wow, that's a good YouTube channel. Wow, what's well researched. Wow, the really insightful content. Wow, he really used. He look at look at the sources he used. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, how he uh, drew drew it back to the things going on in the world and how we can make the world a better place. That's what I'd like to see from your channel. I just I just don't see it now. So that's why I had to <laughs> make a video about. I should stop smoking weed before I. Fucking hey, when, when right. you said earlier, you said the goal is. Uh, I mean, I smoked weed right? before I got here, so. Wait, you smoke weed? My YouTube channel has lots of goals. One was it was an experiment to see how the algorithm worked. Like, mm-hmm. I want to know what videos would get suppressed, what wouldn't. My muted. Shit like that. Yeah, you don't know what if you put certain words in the headlines of your, your video. Like, I got this video IQ app. They'll tell you. Like, if you use like I don't know huh. uh, some racially charged words, they your video will get like shadow banned and stuff. I mean, I can understand that. I mean, lots of people don't understand how YouTube works. It's super simple. Yeah, make yeah, as so much sometimes money. I, I, I put quotes from the Quran and they, my comment gets deleted. Yeah, I mean, LGBTQ. I, I wonder like, why, is th- why that is. Well, here, I got you. Well, I want, hmm, mm. I wonder why that is. Well, did you know that LGBTQ uh, uh, tags get uh, get uh, get you demonetized too? If you put gay, yeah. trans, like lesbian, if you put that, wow, yeah, well, uh, hmm, hmm very that? interesting. Why is Are that? Are they discriminatory? against games. it's almost like they want to disincentivize controversial uh topics because it makes them more money to sell to advertise the family family friendly uncontroversial topics because they're a business and they want to make more money hmm very interesting it's debatable because at the same time you could say that the because yeah, they push their own ideas like you know how the comment section and articles people would go back to it repeatedly to they have tutorials uh, on the, how to how to whatever. make videos business I don't know how much money they're making whatever. yeah but that's YouTube why YouTube doesn't even make fucking money anyways right um they're you. negative yeah YouTube but makes no money <laughs> they're in the negative as as far as I remember I haven't looked back into it but YouTube, YouTube makes zero money but not all of investment that. is money Google owning yeah, the world's the largest like video hosting platform ever no matter how much money it's losing them is always a benefit oh yeah i know it's good to have that control over that i mean i'd rather own yeah, YouTube yeah. Than that. world control is is nice but yeah that's why they push msnbc even fox news they push they push fox news over ben shapiro because of course you would like even where advertisers already are just put it on your platform that sounds amazing what well, that's easy money like already things that uh, providers want to pay for, just put it on your platform, and have them pay for it there too. Amazing. That's what. That's how this works. It's just about making more money. There's no like massive ideological thing going on. They're not like hiding the truth. They're not trying to suppress dissenting opinion. They you just think? want to make more money. They'll suppress me as much as they'll suppress you. Oh, you think? Uh, yes, I know. I know. It's definitely true, man. 
I know I had left wing channels banned. You've had right wing channels banned. That's just how it works. They're trying to make more money. Okay. Even if you're neither. Yes. They're, they're just stupid. Because they, they, they they're want not stupid. basically. The pro it's working just exact, exactly how it should be. Well, for them. Well, so this they, is kind of like the Leviathan I was talking about here. Yeah. We're watching our society get more and more constrained as we're watching this tight. It's you know, globalism. It's it's just globalism. Fucking, we're losing our free speech, kind of. The, the internet used to be the wild west, and no, now it's becoming more tamed. That's a horrible thing. Yeah, yeah. Like the internet being a wild Google west. Anymore. That was the worst thing ever. I don't, I don't trust ever. Google, especially, especially for uh, history stuff. I trust Google before I trust some random weirdo on the internet who was hosting a forum. I'll trust Google any what? day of the week than over over some random internet user why? who has a. Why would I trust them? Wait, what? Why would I, I mean, trust I, that if random what they're user? Saying makes sense, and if the sources are correct, that's that's how you do research. You, oh, you don't just go to Wikipedia and you just information. You're talking basically about read, bro. If if you just read Wikipedia, you're gonna be totally like off the, you know. That's why you mark. scroll to the bot. That's why you read and uh, read a section and scroll to the bottom and click on the source. Yeah, even the source. Of course, the the text is based on the sources. It's gonna be it's gonna be the same thing. Um. Well, not exactly. Like, that's why I bought yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. They select their sources. Um, but no, and, I... and people who actually write on Wikipedia, they're, you know, they're all selected. A weird tangent, side. You got yeah. you're ADHD like me, it seems. Yeah, um, I'd <laughs> but, much uh, rather trust Google, who you has. You said a... the goal is happiness, right? It should be. Maximize human think, happiness. You, you said the goal is happiness. Maximize correct? human happiness. Uh. Yeah, Sam the, some of the happiest people I know were like stoners. Doesn't okay. he say like human flourishment? Like dr drug druggies in school. So the ha yeah. happiest people I met, man. Okay. Yeah. So do, do we become like them? Do we follow so, them? So yeah, that's a great point. If the goal should be happiness, why not just plug into a VR simulation and live that way the rest of your life like a hedonist? Well, I mean, <laughs> if, if, I mean... Yeah, just why hypothetically, in a world where that would speak side. Well, hypothetically, in a world where that would be the optimal position of humankind to, and that is the best for the planet, that's for the best for people. When why shouldn't we? I guess if that's hypothetically what is the most optimal thing to do. Uh, yeah, do you think why though? You, you can never justify this though. Why human happiness is the I, I got the a goal cool question I want to ask my friend here. Uh, do you think and people have yeah. different goals of happiness, by the way? Do you think there, there's the right? Hold on, let me ask it. Do you think we have too many people on the planet, or not enough, or the right amount? Um, right now, I think I I can't tell you if we have too many or too little. Um, we have a lot right now, and probably more isn't necessarily the best thing, especially the way we're living right now. If we can find a way to live in a far more sustainable way. Then I guess we're fine having more people. Let, let me let me try to convince you we need more people. All right. Uh, Elon Musk needs more abortion. <laughs> billionaire, you know, geniuses like that are like one in seven billion people. So if we have more people, we have a statistically higher chance of more super geniuses coming up that will drag our society technologically forward. I'm not sure if Elon Musk is like exceptionally smart i'm not sure if these people are like exceptionally smart who like business owners who come up with ideas a lot of the times when we look yeah, at these yeah, people they just seem the really to concept. be but the concept still stands they really seem to be people who have the best situation i mean i this is a really interesting thought experiment you know who was the like smartest Einstein, person tesla who was the smartest person in the world ever uh i don't know we don't know it could be some random farmer in the middle of africa Tending to his cattle and eating weed. That could that could have been the person with 300 IQ. Not literally, but, you know, smarter than Einstein if he was given the right yeah. resources. We have no clue. Um, I don't, I'll, I don't, I'll, I'm not sure if I want to play the, like, lottery. Yeah, with, so being with rich that. is not, doesn't make you better, necessarily. I mean, and even getting Something. rich doesn't necessarily make you smarter. Or having just more like, wealth. Out. Sure. So you, can, you can have someone who, yeah, works in a farm or whatever, and he, he can be, you know, way smarter. Because he, he can, you know, like imagine you have no access to technology. You're going to read more books. You know, you're going to read more scientific stuff. Or you tend Maybe, to your, or you tend to your cattle. <laughs> you 
you could you could just like kind of tend to your ta- cattle, you know, like the people in like that's Iraq. the thing when people. I always say that when people tell me, "Oh, the goal is to be happy," I just tell them, oh, "Okay, then are you are you just gonna smoke crack?" Do you think if that you smoke crack, you can be very happy. You know? Do you think that ultimately you smoke crack maxi- the rest of your life? Do you think well, that you ultimately be happy maximizes family human... too, though? Yeah, but I think people it's not normally. Really it's a struggle. I think it's people not normally happy have more happiness when they actually have like real life experiences and stuff. I think people are happy when they have a burden that they want to carry and they carry it successfully. People really find joy in struggle. Accomplishing a goal. True. Imagine this is another thought experiment. How fun would it be for the like NBA to be just like no holds bar. You put you lock everybody on the court and then whoever gets the most baskets in, you can bring in whatever you want. As long as whoever gets whatever team gets the most baskets in is, you know, the, the winner. I mean, it could be fun for a while watching people like shoot each other. Like for the first like two games, but it wouldn't really be as fun. We like the rules, you know. Soccer's yeah. fun. Be- soccer's fun because you can't just pick up the ball and kick the goalie in his head. I press X to disagree, man. The Coliseums were pretty successful. Um, sure, well, they but they actually. weren't even. But they weren't even as bad as people think it is because most gladiators didn't even die. They didn't. They didn't want to die, and their masters didn't want them to die. Right, they didn't want to die. Most of them were just retired. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, so this kind of this kind of feels like we transition to like a, a Jordan Peer uh, Jordan Peterson like argument between like you want to make sure that society is not not stay uh, not so rigid that people can't you know climb up from poverty, but you don't want it to be so. What's that? Unrigid. What's the word? What the fucking word am I looking for? God damn it! You want it so people can climb and, and succeed, and so they bring they generate new wealth, whatever. You want I think you're thinking. Person- I think you're thinking of, I think I can, I think I can say what you're trying to say a little bit more concisely, if I may. Um, You're looking for equality of opportunity, not equality of outcome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what we want. We just struggle there. Say again. Not everybody has the same base opportunities. Sure. We should give people the same base opportunities as much as we can. You know, social mobility in this country is 30%. Uh, yeah, but is that based, based on wealth? Well, what if uh, some people just don't want to be that rich? Define thirty percent. What does that mean, though? Thirty percent of people can move from uh, homelessness to poverty, poverty to middle class, middle class to upper class. The okay. possibility of you changing and going up from your uh, from the uh, the stock that you've been born in um, is thirty oh, percent, okay. which is one of the lowest in the developed worlds in in the developed oh. world. It's actually higher in Canada. Uh, Social mobility ideally is a good thing because it's people who are capable of succeeding, succeeding. We'd we'd want more social mobility ideally. Uh, yeah. What can we do to raise social that? Mobility. Hmm. I I blame the school systems and the local property taxes. Here's my here's my solution. You have a federal government gives every student X amount of dollars to be used at their chosen school of choice. There's the student. Well, the parents picks whatever school the student's going to be going to. It it's attached to them. Um, I don't know. What if we just like give the schools as much as they need to be operational? Have like baseline settings, and then they can like do fundraisers from there. Like make sure that they can like change their seats out once a year, make sure that they can update their books once a year, make sure that they have a gym, make sure they have a functional like recreational center, make sure they have everything that they need for functional for, make sure they have enough money for um uh, extracurricular activities this, this is amazing if you you'd be shocked and appalled by how much extracurricular activities can uh, benefit an impoverished society. listen when you or have band pack band practice after school. You are, you're less likely to pick up a gang. You really are. It's crazy. Um, but this is important. So how about just no, let's do that? Truth, man. Truth. True. When I, right. I played football when I was younger. Lots of people who and where my family grew up did not have that option. They just went home after school and did, did fuck all. So 
they should be able to listen my my school even had a gaming club i took i'm i'm microsoft certified right now through my high school i took i think microsoft. one th i think i took one thousand dollars worth of microsoft certification testing um at my high school i'm microsoft certified right now and um what? like people can't people can't do that fix microsoft windows um, well, it's mostly mobility. So it's like if I'm working in a uh, in a in in an office and you have like uh, bring your own device type things that can like help you with your LAN and settings and stuff like that. Just you like, will update your Adobe oh, Reader. I can, I can. I help sixty year olds oh, update their uh, update their computer and tell them not to give their password to their friend. Okay, but uh, I was gonna say something else. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you've heard this, but uh, let, let's say. Uh, Let's say I give you uh, two million. Listen, I'm sorry. I got to I got to go to bed. It's 5 a.m. here. Yeah. Let's let's say I uh, I gave you two million dollars today. What what you what would you say to me? If I gave you where did you get this money and why are you giving it to me? Let's say I'm rich. And I give you two two million dollars. I'd be like, what we have to me? I'd be like, we have to sign a contract to make sure that this is, you know, in writing. <laughs> He's if looking a gift horf in the mouth right now. That's I what he's doing. If I give you a gift. It's a gift. A gift? Well, I'll make sure you rec I record you saying it's a gift and then I'll be like, thanks. And then I'll leave. Thank you. Yeah. Now, if uh, if I tell you, give me your two eyes in exchange of two million dollars, what would what would you say? I like my eyes. No. You say no, right? Sure. So why, why don't you thank God for giving you two eyes for free? I do. I mean, I go to church. <laughs> wow. That's a deep point, Saeed. Mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, you're right. I thank God every day I have both my eyes. That's true. I do. I do. <laughs> no, I, thank you for bringing us back to the basics, though. You are right. I. Uh, How insight? <laughs> what insightful content? Sometimes we get a little bit too complicated, and we we don't we lose track of the important things in life, like our own basic health and Is the health true? of our fellow cute brothers. Um, <laughs> let me let me leave you with one more parting gift. I think I have another research document that I'd like to. Give. All right. uh, I think this one's just about systematic racism. This one goes a little bit more in depth um, into education as well. Uh, what do you think about who, the Ben Shapiro? He's all like, there's no such thing. Or it's like, it's like a ghost. Systemic racism is a ghost when he says like, Oh, he's incredibly stupid. And I'll call him a racist with you. But like, you, you're saying the system as a fact is just like, how are we supposed to fix the system, I guess? Um, fix society. Okay. Because that's all we can do. It's not like we can go in. I mean, these sort of discrepancies even can even persist in all black um, neighborhoods. So it's not like a white people versus black people thing. It's like a people. It's like a United States society versus black people thing. That's just okay. like what happens. So like some of the most racist people against black people I remember in my near history is like other black people. Like, holy shit, dude. Like, it, I, I remember like someone was like, uh, someone was going, well, um, uh, uh, black people, huh? You think they're racist? I'm like, a hundred percent. Yes. There was like a video of this one, like black entrepreneur yeah, who was like, right. he was like, Everyone yeah, right. um, Black people, they're cool or whatever, but you have to be the good black people. I'm sorry if your uh, name is like uh, F Fashana, uh, uh, like watermelon Keisha. I'm not gonna hire you. And then she just like walked away. I'm like, holy shit, what fuck? Like, why are you so racist, dude? For like literally no reason. She's like, if your if your name sounds black, I'm not gonna hire you. If you sound ghetto, I'm not gonna hire you. Just like outright. And I'm like, holy crap. And her name was like Treasure. And I'm like, how do you? How can you even do? How can you even say that? That's crazy. That sounds like they're just trolling you. They're not. She was a hundred percent serious, and she would go to the grave on it. Is she? Oh, she's black. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is true that every person, all people, have biases, which is what I said before. Yeah, yeah. You could say bias is in racism, but Do you know the Nation uh, of Islam. Nation of Islam, they're cringe, and they should yeah, they die Malcolm in Minecraft. X. Yeah, they they were black supremacists. Yeah, they are, and they that. yep, and they should die in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they uh, killed Monkey Max, man. And, uh, Shark, you can do it whenever you want. Side might be here a little longer with me. Nick Cannon is uh, on the show, bro. It's 5 a.m. It's got to be late for you. We, yeah. we saw him. And he I was, don't have he work tomorrow anyway, so, well, today. Savages. 
Oh Who? yeah, Nick Cannon says some stupid shit, but we all yeah. say stupid shit sometimes. So let's forgive him. It's because of the sun, because the sun didn't hit. <laughs> when did he say it? Why did he say it? And did he say sorry? Because those are the those are the three things I care about. When did he say it? Why did he say it? Did he say sorry? I don't know. Uh, he said it like two days ago or yesterday on YouTube on a, some talk show. Oh, the dude. context was, I don't know, it's an hour and a half long podcast. You can listen to it. I covered it on my channel, but uh, uh, he, he, it sounds like it was just being pretty blatantly racist against white people, saying that, like, you know, they're responsible. They're the true savages, whites and Jews. And so that's why he really got blown up because it sounded kind of anti-Semitic a little bit. And he's talking about the Northern Europeans and the Norwegians and they're all Vikings and they're super, super violent and they're committing rape, rape all the time. And then it's, I mean, I don't really care about it, but it's, so has he apologized? No, because it was just happened yesterday or something. So we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, that don't sound, sound like a pretty bad guy to me. So racism is racism wherever you find it. And we got to stop it. Yeah. But all right. It sounds um, more urban, and it sounds like he's got the nation of Islam shit in him now. Yeah, Probably they're like they're like a lot of black people who have sympathies towards the 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 NOI, and they're bad people, and they must be stopped. I am dedicating some time to that on my stream sometime soon. Yeah. Horrible, awful, they garbage people. Yeah, they, they do. They killed Malcolm X. Uh, why? Why weren't they? Like uh, no, okay. I don't want to answer any more or uh, and, and, and any more of your questions. I'm sorry. All right, I am no, going okay. to go to bed. Thank you for having me on. Um, you once again, you radically moderate. Can I please ask for, uh, ask for you to my parting gifts? Can you just like look them over sometime whenever you have time after work or anything, even on stream? Just look them over. Do some uh, do some looking into them. It, it would uh, really be um uh good to uh do that. Holler! Thanks for joining me, man. No problem. Thanks for having me on. I'll see you all later. Bye. Good night. Later. Wow. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was something.